Felicitations, adventures! Welcome to Roll for Felicity, where we play serialized one-shots in a multitude of systems with a variety of players. And today, we have just one of those serialized one-shots that I just mentioned. Uh, this is going to be the finale of the series that we've been doing of Vampire the Masquerade. Um, this is uh, intended to be still one shot. So if you've missed the other games that we've played, you're still basically going to understand what's going on. I'm going to, you know, mention other things that have happened. But it's kind of the vibe of like those detective novels that are like, yeah, it's a series, but like nobody starts with the first one. <laughs> And you're kind of going to understand what's going on. If you're new here, my name is Taylor. I used to hear pronouns and I am the producer and oft GM storyteller, etc., on this channel. And um, that's me pretty much. You can also see uh, my husband behind me <laughs> because I got a new <laughs> webcam and the angle that it's at is different. Uh, so he's playing some Street Fighter. So you get two things for the price of one. Um, I'm gonna... If he smashes his controller, we know why. <laughs> yeah, yeah. he's throwing the <laughs> controller against the wall. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I'm going to throw it to you all, over to you all to introduce yourselves, and we're going to start with Koya. Do you want to introduce yourself to everybody? Sure. Hi, my name is Koya. I go by she, her pronouns, and uh, yeah, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> Good, short and sweet. Um, that's a raven. <laughs> yep, that's me. Uh, Faye. <laughs> Disney Channel, and I'm Koya. <laughs> yeah, and I do, I do the Mickey Mouse thing. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> And you do it perfectly the first time. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, Faye, do you want to introduce yourself? Uh, yeah, what's up? I'm Faye, but um, I'm not in my uh, crazy persona, you know. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm a crazy fairy on Twitch, and that's that's me. But I'm not her right now. But, <laughs> you're yeah. in a different persona. You're. A... I'm an, I'm just <laughs> chilling. You're a crazy mm -hmm. vampire. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's true. <laughs> in a few minutes. Um, they were in a hat is off and the vampire hat is on. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, Dreamy, do you want to introduce yourself to everybody? Hi, everyone. I'm Dreamy. I am also on Twitch. Uh, you can find it in the links in chat. And today I'm also a crazy vampire. <laughs> Good. <laughs> we're all crazy here. Mm -hmm. Um, and that just leaves one last person on waves. Do you want to introduce yourself? Yeah, uh, I'm Wave, um, and sometimes I stream, but not lately. <laughs> That's a mood, honestly. <laughs> that happens. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> um, yes, and if you want to check out uh, these players, there are some links in chat that you can check out other places that you can find them, which you absolutely should. They're all great. Um, <laughs> um, and if you want to help out uh, them and the stream even more, uh, there's some different things that you can do during the stream to help out. Give um, us your soul. Yeah. Sorry. Well, the first thing is you can give us your soul. Um, but if you're watching this, you already have. Uh, sorry about that. Um, oh, yeah. I didn't see the fine print. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. You have to click. When you click accept the rules in chat, it also you give us your soul. Um, you can use the command, uh, an exclamation point followed by the word marker in chat, which I just did to show you how to do it, um, to make markers for moments during the stream that you think are like cool or funny, or you're like, oh, I would love to see this on TikTok. Um, that is very helpful to me. If you don't feel like making a clip and like missing what might happen in the next moment of the stream, I'll go back and make the clip for you if you put use that command in chat. The other thing you can do is you can... A uh, tip, you can either use bits or you can use a uh, Kofi. Either way, um, it's 200 bits or $2 to give plus one to a dice pool to one player. Um, yes, me. <laughs> yeah, dream, dream Preferably me, add, please. Wait, are you still saving yours? <laughs> so many. <laughs> How many do you have? I think I have like 12 or 13 or something. You like better that. fucking oh use God. them today. I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> I've just been hoarding them this entire time. <laughs> also, apparently, you're not allowed to tip to give yourself a plus one, whatever. That's true. You're oh, not I was just thinking to... about doing that. <laughs> I had to make that rule because of Dreamy. Uh, so, yeah, anyone but the players can tip to give a plus one to a player. Uh, or if you want to give everyone a plus one, you can tip 500 bits to give plus one to all the players. They don't have to use it in that moment. Uh, as Dreamy has shown, you can hang on to it for, you know, another important thing. Give mm -hmm. me your plus ones, chat. <laughs> yeah. Give me the plus ones. I'm scared she that I'll enough. need them. She's <laughs> got enough. <laughs> she has so 
so many. I've been saving them for a special occasion, <laughs> for today. okay? Oh, Wave is officially first in chat. Uh, canonically. Yeah, I stole it. It's canonically Bullshit. and officially. Um, uh, or you can tip a thousand bits or ten dollars to introduce a big complication to the game, or you can add plus one to everyone's hunger. Somebody gets pregnant. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, my God. This. Uh, uh, Alex gets pregnant. <laughs> That's a complication. <laughs> Um, and, uh, the last thing that you can do to help, congratulations, you're already doing it. Whether you're watching us live right now on Twitch or watching the YouTube VOD later, we really appreciate your support and hopefully you enjoy what you're about to see. Um, I will really quick also say thank you to Mila for the resub, uh, for 29 months, which is absolutely wild. <laughs> thank you for the resub. Um, the last thing I'll say before we get into the game proper is we are playing Vampire the Masquerade, which is a game of personal horror that explores dark topics. Some possible content warnings include, of course, blood. These are vampires, um, but also mentions of parental abuse, stalking, mentions of drug use and drug abuse toxic and controlling relationships among other things this is a live stream so uh you know we don't know exactly what's mm -hmm. going to come up during the game uh while playing we are using a system of safety tools to make sure everyone at the table is safe and comfortable playing obviously we can't know what is going to make anyone in the audience uncomfortable so if at any point the content is upsetting to you uh, of course you can stop watching check in later watch the vod um any of that kind of stuff but do take care of your own mental health as you're watching this game because it can get a little bit dark <laughs> so <laughs> with all of that being said we are going to get into our game this evening and i have a little bit of a setup to do uh to say some things that have already happened in this game as well as where we are now so the past few weeks for all of you have been a whirlwind what started as a tip that Boots, Bella, and Dolores should look into a mortal coven rumored to be involved with blood magic turned into the discovery that Dolores' sire, Carmela, was about to embrace and harvest the power of her children, just as she had done to Dolores so long ago. Among those mortals were Bella's most trusted employee and Boots' crush. After protecting their touchstones, the trio were resolved to take down Prince Antiphonus and Carmela, uh, Prince Antiphonus being Carmela's boss. Since then, Boots was subject to psychological torture, with the prince using his powers of suggestion to make her believe that she had put her crush Jess into danger with her infatuation. Yeah. <laughs> you are, you are, that is resolved now, though. You do, you, you do remember yeah, that. Yeah. yeah. Um, Bella grew tired of living under the thumb of her sire, lover, and benefactor, turning him, or, sorry, this is turning, burning him alive, along with her beloved nightclub. Alex, a thin blood, also joined the coterie. His grudge against the prince was formed when his stepfather sold him into the prince's secret feeding pit. Having killed Mitch, his stepfather, with his bare hands, it looks as though Prince Antiphonus is next, especially now that a blood hunt has been called on him. The four of you have come to learn that Prince Antiphonus has retreated to a bunker in the Mojave Desert. Unfortunately, you are not the only kindred here tonight. Killing Prince Antiphonus will undoubtedly secure a major boon from the Camarilla, since the blood hunt has been called, even as Prince Antiphonus is well, that's a hard thing to say. Prince Antiphonus's successor. And sickness. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, as his successor is uncertain. Those who don't seek power from the Camarilla know of yet another source of power that comes from the death of the prince. Diablery. Consuming not only his blood, but also his power. It's a forbidden act and extraordinarily risky to attempt, but for some, the risk is worth the reward. As you drive through the desert in search of your quarry, it's midnight. You have until 6.06 a.m. to take care of him or to back down and seek shelter from the sunlight, which would surely, out in the Mojave Desert, kill you. That being said, I do have some questions for all of you. Um, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so first, uh, I would love to know what kind of vehicle you are in as you're driving through the desert. If this is a vehicle that one of you own, if you have like rented something or borrowed something from someone else, uh, what are you all driving? Are you all in the same car? I guess is another thing. Um, what are probably you all that'd be in? easiest? Yeah. I still have money, right? Um, <laughs> yes, you do have money. I guess with that, what? Where has Bella been living? 
since since everything went down. <laughs> what where are we she... hold up? Are we Did still she get hiding? a fat oh sorry. <laughs> oh no, you're good. I, I was just gonna say, did she get a fat insurance payout for the club burning down? <laughs> Yes, oh, she, yeah. totally. I mean, yeah. definitely, definitely. She, she I have money definitely, now. I, I think mm-hmm. it's, um, so that happened probably, I would say, like, a week or two ago. So you probably haven't, like, gotten a payout yet because usually that does take, like, more than just, like, it's not like the next day they're like, all right, here's all of yeah. your money. But, like, definitely you are not short on resources. Um, you you have, you had access to all She'd of... She'd probably get herself some fancy hotel or something. Yeah, you have yeah. access to all of yeah. Lysander's assets. Um, yeah, I'm uh, yeah. I'm in his inheritor, you yes. could say. <laughs> oh, you just take over his... <laughs> fucking flat yeah oh i guess it would be mine now mm-hmm. yeah <laughs> okay <laughs> cool so we know we know you've been kind of living it up it sounds like um so yeah does that affect uh what kind of vehicle you all are in uh it's just a car that um i bought mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. just just, yeah. uh, just your basic <laughs> car <laughs> It's like a, fancy it's like a Jeep. Desert. I would say it's like a Jeep because we're going over rough terrain yeah, potentially. Yeah. Yeah. It's sense. a Jeep uh, with very tinted windows. Oh. Ah. I mean, we're not gonna be we're not gonna be in the sun during the day, anyways. Yeah, but... if we get like blood on us, like we don't want no one seeing. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Exactly. Um. Cool. Yeah, that makes sense. You've bought a Jeep for this. Um. Kind of along with that, you are all on a mission, knowing that your goal is to take out a fellow kindred. So I would love to know what kind of weapons and equipment do you have with you. Um. Money is kind of no object as far as this is concerned. Like, um. I don't know. Like, you probably can't have like a you know like a RPG or something like that. But like, as far as I have fifteen like, machine guns. Yeah, right. We, I mean, we can have guns. You can have guns. So, yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Well, well, let's all say that's we, not gonna be my territory. I'm just saying. Uh, I'll have a gun at least, and I'll and we'll have some stakes, I guess. Mm-hmm. Um, are you bringing along anything that does like fire damage? Does yeah, in the fire? trunk, we'll have a can of gas. <laughs> Okay. And uh, several lighters. <laughs> that is your forte. Of course. <laughs> that is my forte, yeah. Yeah, yeah can, that's your vibe. Kind of gas, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'll also say in the, I mean, in the real world and in the world of Vampire the Masquerade, um, there are incendiary rounds that you can get for weapons. Um, is anyone have like that kind of thing? You're, yeah, I'll, I'll buy it. Okay. Um, Eek. Uh, <laughs> those are a little hard to buy. <laughs> Incendiary, what? Yeah, uh, yeah. Like, like fire, yeah. Bullets oh, that set things on fire, they're the really fire. cool. I the fire. Bella's so fucking rich, she couldn't just buy fire. I mean, you definitely, mm-hmm. so it's something that Kindred normally would be hesitant to mm-hmm. have because it's dangerous to you as well. But knowing that you are going to be fighting other kindred it's definitely something that you could acquire um so if any of you feel like okay maybe i have some of this and you don't think it's something that you would be too afraid to have on you because i would i would like to have it Mm -hmm. so we would shoot it at them and they would just light on fire or do i need to carry around Okay, in one holster, I have my regular gun. In the other holster, I have a water gun that's filled with gas. Oh, my God. <laughs> you, don't, you, don't need the, you don't need the gas. Yeah, yeah just in case. Water just in gun? Case. Like yeah. a squirt gun? Like yes, yeah, like a squirt gun. Shut oh, up. my God. Yep. <laughs> yeah, the gasoline is um, slowly eating through the plastic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry, Wave. What were, what were you about to say? He he's more of a he's more of a, a fist guy instead of a gun guy, but I'm pretty sure Alex is gonna bring like a shotgun with dragon's breath rounds or something. Yeah, cool. It's it, they're just incendiary rounds. Yeah, they just sound cooler because it's a shotgun. Yes, yeah. <laughs> that's fair. Um, <laughs> dragon's breath. That's fucking sick. Yeah, I was like, cool. what? <laughs> Yeah, somebody in chat, BFG Freak, said, holy water super soaker. <laughs> <laughs> I wish that would work. Well, we don't know. Actually, some... Oh, actually, yeah. I don't think that would be bad to have because some vampires, their flaws or whatever is that they have, like... Yeah. They're weak They're weak to, like, stuff like that. Not That's not everyone. Yeah. 
If it's but, something that um, you wanted to get, you yeah. did, it would definitely be easy to get your hands on some holy water. Um, okay. I don't think I'll, any of you have that bane, right? So it's not dangerous. Yeah, to you. I can. I'll. I can get it. I'll, I go to church. <laughs> I go to church. <laughs> I go to church. <laughs> the character or, my, or, I, or should I say growing. Bella? Bella goes to. Church. <laughs> yeah, Bella goes. To church. Does she though? Uh, just to. Mm. Um, Put her, just to just to take the tips every once in a while. Yeah, just move. Oh whatever my. it's called. Take the tips. Only, you can only go to oh tips. Uh, you guys, I think it's pretty obvious that I don't go to church IRL, but <laughs> <laughs> whatever it's called, the tithing. Yeah, is that what tithing, it is? Yeah. The yeah. tips. You know, you know how you tip the priest. <laughs> you tip. You tip the pastor. <laughs> Here you go, buddy. Good job. Yeah. Good sermon today. You did good. Yeah. Here's a, Here's a twenty on Jesus. <laughs> Yeah, twenty yeah. on Jesus. Yeah, cool. Um, okay, so you do you have some you have some equipment on you, uh, which makes mm -hmm. sense. Some stakes, some fire, some holy water. <gasps> Y'all, we're gonna have some stake. Okay, sorry, <laughs> I'm done. Um, well, Faye, I was about to say what for anyone who has missed previous games of this. Uh, what does Dolores look like, and also what is on her mind at this moment as you're driving through the desert? She just wants to fucking. Uh, she just wants the end of this journey to end. She just wants Carmela and Antiphonus to go down. Yeah. So she's just eye on the prize, you know? What Same does, as usual. Um... She's not really a very happy person. <laughs> <laughs> um, what does what does Dolores look like and what does she what is she like dressed like for what's happening? Uh for the desert? I'm not sure what the version of that would be, but she just wears like, I guess, just some light, long, dark clothes. I guess, mm -hmm. um, something that's like not gonna make her too hot. Mm -hmm. um, she has, you know, vampiric pale skin, long, dark, uh, dark brown, almost black hair, and just a serious. Um, almost like angry or maybe a little hint of sadness. Just, just a very serious look on her face all the time, and like just very big bags under her eyes because she doesn't sleep ever. Yeah. Um, wave. What does Alex look like, and how is he feeling right now? Uh, Alex has uh, like a like dark olive skin tone long dark hair um he is he's feeling uh he's feeling good he's feeling like uh he's actually like he's already taken care of like a huge problem in his life that has been like haunting him for so long mm -hmm. and now he's about to just kind of like wrap up that chapter yeah. And he's 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 optimistic, weirdly. But not like too optimistic cuz it's not over yet, but like mm -hmm. yeah, re somewhere in that realm. Yeah, I like that. Um Koya, what does Boots look like and what is she thinking about? Uh she's just thinking about revenge, honestly. <laughs> she's so furious that uh -huh. she's been made to believe that She's hurt someone that she kind of loves. And um, yeah, she's just out for revenge. And what she looks like is she she has messy black hair, uh, outgrown bangs and brown eyes. She has pretty pale skin. Um, and yeah, she's, she's dressed in pretty breathable clothing. Uh, she's just wearing her usual white t-shirt and uh, shorts, but definitely wearing her boots because she's ready to kick some ass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gotta have the boots. Um, and then finally, Dreamy, what does Bella look like? And what is her mood right now? She's a magical pink bunny girl. <laughs> yeah, uh -huh. that's me. <laughs> okay, I'm, am I the one behind the wheel? Uh, well, I assume, yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess car. if you bought the car, car, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I, uh, so Bella's just, you know, driving, seems to be in a good mood, honestly. Uh, unbothered, she has her blonde hair in like a French braid down her back. She's wearing like um, a white linen button-up shirt with like a neckerchief and like 
Oh yeah. Yeah, and with snazzy. With, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. She has like these. She's basically um cosplaying an adventurer. Yeah. Sort of. That's so yeah. Cool. So she has these like shorts, these high waisted shorts that have like cargo pockets, and then like two thigh straps Fancy with girl holsters. Oh, yeah, yeah, with holsters and and boots. Mm -hmm. uh, some yeah, you know, just like hiking boots. Um. Like I said, like it, just think of like a typical like Indiana Jones yeah. type look, I guess. Right. Uh, but like make it rich. Yes. And yes. make it fab. And, yes, yes. And that's what she's wearing. Um also to point out, she is the only one in the group who has lost to humanity. Oh uh, yeah. Oh I'm the actually, only one yeah. she's the only person who lost humanity at all. So apparently <laughs> when you lose your humanity, you start to look less human. Mm-hmm. Uh -oh. mm -hmm. So yeah. Um, yeah, Bella's definitely, uh, when you don't have Blush of Life on, which I'm assuming none of you do right now because yeah. you don't really need to. You're not going to really be around mortals. Um, when you don't have Blush of Life on, you look, as you lose humanity, you look more uh, corpse-like. Um, oh, but still hot. I had confirmed. <laughs> yes. Yeah, but still hot. She you makes are, sure. <laughs> you are yeah. still hot. Yeah. Um, and actually, let me, um, I'm just... Maybe even arguably even hotter. Depending on, that's true. you know, depending on what people If you're like, like a little bit of a monster fucker, mm -hmm. you know? That's true. That's, that's true. true. But it's not like, it's not like, you know, you're fucking like Cthulhu or anything. It's just a little bit. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, it's yeah. like a starter monster fucker. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and read the description of what it means to be at Humanity Five because uh, I think I did this when you got to Humanity Ooh. Six. Um, so at Humanity okay, Five, ready. at this point you've been around the block. Most neonates and some ancillae, I think that's how you say that, fall into this range. You've internalized pain and anguish, and you begin to accept it as part of existence. You don't particularly care about mortals one way or the other, except for pets and touchstones and the like. After all. You're never going to be mortal again, so why bother? You're selfish, you lie like it's second nature, and you may manifest some <laughs> minor physical eeriness or malformation, such as an unnatural hue to the eyes. Um, you Gosh. suffer one dice penalty on rolls to interact with humans, um, oh unless it's something that you're trying to scare a, a human, uh, in which case Ooh. you don't have a penalty to it. Um, this penalty, I love this. The penalty also applies to creating art or other humanities. For example, kindred prose markedly worsens and becomes more florid as they degenerate. So, like, you become worse at writing or, like, doing Oof. art as you lose humanity. Um, and then, so of course, we have to mention this. Even with Blush of Life, you cannot have sexual intercourse per se, but you can fake it by winning a dexterity plus charisma test, if you wish, made it a two-die penalty to your pool. So the difficulty oh, is your no. partner's composure or wits. So you oh can be hard as a seductress. It, but you can't really have it. Wait, that's hard for me because of my feeding style, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, you can still seduce someone. <laughs> you okay. Just, you, you, and you can try to fake that you're having sex. Um, I oh always read God. this just because it's, I think it's so funny that they have mechanics for it. It's pretty funny. <laughs> yeah. Um, probably not going to affect too much today. I don't think you're going to be interacting with too many mortals. Or... No, I don't think you're going to affect too much today. <laughs> yeah, or, or yeah, hooking up Use that anybody. in bed next to like, oh, sorry, babe. Like, I failed my charisma check. I just, I can't no. do it tonight. <laughs> I failed no, my charisma I, I'm check. Not, I'm not feeling it, you know. Uh, I'm only on five <laughs> humanity, honey. <laughs> sorry, I just can't. <laughs> um, so now that we've kind of established where everybody's at, um, what you've done to prepare a little bit for this. Um, you are in the Mojave Desert. It is um, uh, nighttime, um, but it's still pretty hot. Like it's still in like the 80 to 90 degree range, even at nighttime. Um, so it's warm, but the sun is down. The moon is, uh, it's not a full moon, but it's, it's bright in the sky. At this point, um, you've narrowed, like, obviously the Mojave Desert is, like, huge. Um, you've narrowed down to a general area where this bunker is supposed to, like, said to be. Um, that being said, you do still need to find specifically where it is. Um, you can really use whatever means you would like to to try to figure out where the prince is. Um, whether you want to use, like, if any of you have, like, tracking abilities, um, magic really anything that you can think of that you would be using to try to find the prince. 
Um, there are not only other kindred hunting for the prince. I'll also mention that um, the prince more than likely has allies still, even though a blood hunt has been called, who might be out on sort of defensive duty. So you'll kind of want to be, whatever you're doing, aware. Am I raising my hands? Oh. <laughs> yeah, I can't see that you are, but yes, yes, bye. <laughs> um, I just know what I'm going to do. So. Yeah. Oh, okay. But uh, yeah, go for it. If you know what you want to do. Uh, we should, can we try share the senses? Oh, yeah. Okay. Let me see if there is do, 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 any kind of, I kind of glanced at this. Um, okay. The user size. Da, 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 da. Um, okay. So when used, oh, hang on. When used on a stranger, the power requires line of sight to initiate. However, it can be used over longer distances on someone who still has some of the user's blood in their body. Okay, so if the prince had fed on you at some point, oh, fuck. you would be able to from long range. Um, but uh, because you don't know exactly where he is, you wouldn't be able to just like tap into his senses immediately. Um so you couldn't yeah. you couldn't use the sh share the senses to tap into his mind now, but Would definitely I be able to like trigger a premonition. Too. Yes, you can do that. Okay. So uh, for your premonition, it is if you are trying to trigger it, it is a roll. Let me remind myself of what the roll is. Um, oh, actually, why am I looking? I keep looking in the whole rule book, but I'm I have ready a to have my here. Wednesday Adams moment. <laughs> I'm oh, ready for good. it. Good. Um, all right, let me see. Premonition. Heightened kind of does have Wednesday vibes, to be fair. Um, but you got there first. <laughs> I mean, you, you're not before Wednesday Adams, but before the new show. I got, I was the original Wednesday, all right? <laughs> you should see. She Hell copied yeah. me. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just uh, say that w the monster in Wednesday looks really dumb? Yeah. <laughs> it looks so bad. It looks like Scooby Doo. It does. <laughs> 2001 CGI. I agree with you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Um, okay, so the first thing you'll need to do is make a rouse check, which in our dice roller, if you just do slash V and then rouse, the word rouse, um, it will let you do that. And it'll just tell you whether your hunger goes up or uh, stays the same. Uh, okay, so your hunger goes <gasps> your hunger goes up to two, <laughs> but you she's, still you still can use your ability, or you just get hungrier doing it. Yeah, I know this makes sense. She's probably you know yeah yeah in a mood. Um. Okay. Then uh, go ahead and On give me a period. roll. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> give me a roll. Uh, it's gonna be resolve plus aspects. So whatever your resolve. So slash roll. Yeah, slash roll, or, or slash v, slash v v roll. roll I think. V the, roll. Yeah, the bot. Yeah. Slash think the bot virgin changed. roll. Okay, I'm yeah. sorry. I need. I'll shut the fuck up. <laughs> or, or I'm vampire. in a silly mood. <laughs> okay. Um. And then, however many dots you have in resolve, plus however many dots you have in auspex. Um, wait. So wait a minute. Is the, okay. Is the pool. So V roll pool. What do I type in the pool? Um, however many dots you have in resolve, plus however many dots you have in auspex, that's what? your dice pool. Five, six, seven. Okay, and then seven. You, and then you want to put your hunger in as well. So if you click the like plus, there All should right. be a little thing that says like plus eight or something like that. And then hunger, and then your hunger's at two now. Oh, actually, I think your hunger would still be one because I think you don't count if you just failed a rouse check. So your hunger would be at one. Oh, I pog. If that's okay. wrong, nobody at me. <laughs> don't add her because it benefit me. Yeah. All right. Uh, and then you don't need to put a difficulty in, so you're good. Okay. Success. Cool. So that's nice. three successes. Um. So with this ability, the number of successes rolled determines the level of insight on the subject, if any. I would say three successes, pretty strong uh, success. So here's yeah, what I'm no gonna. Here's what, here's, what I'll, <laughs> here's what I'll give you. Um, I think you see a flash in your mind of a particular outcropping out of the side of uh, one of the mountains that's kind of like you know bordering the desert, which is not far from where you are. It's probably 
Okay. I'll say if you drive like for a, cropping. Yeah, I'll say if you drive for like maybe an hour, um, you would be able to to get there because um, you can see it from where you are. Like it's one of those things where you see like a close up kind of of it, um, and underneath this outcropping, it's kind of shielded from the moonlight, um, and you can see this very slim band of light under the outcropping. Which, with your premonition, you're like. Oh, this is probably like a hidden doorway under this outcropping. Um, okay. And I'll also say, since you got three successes, uh, another piece of information is you see kind of these different people flash in your mind as you are seeing some of the other kindred who are hunting the prince this evening. Um, the first flash oh. in your mind that you get is uh, from... Uh, da, 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 da. Let me remind myself of who else is here. Um, the first flash you see in your mind is of uh, Santiago, uh, who, <gasps> who you know. <laughs> um, you see Santiago, who is, uh, he has dark tan skin, long, dark brown hair, stubble that's like just barely beginning to show a hint of gray. Um, he's dressed in hiking clothes. Uh, you can, but you can see in your premonition the outline of some kind of body armor under his clothing. Um, and he oh, is with uh, some other gangrel uh, that you would recognize um, since you've been around him and his, like you know, his kind of coterie before. Um, so that's the first flash you see in your mind of someone else who is who is, uh, I think Santiago probably on foot right now. Um, and another flash in your mind of another person who is here this evening. This time, not such a welcome sight. Um, you see that bitch. a kindred <laughs> with long, <laughs> curly hair, uh, like the protagonist of a paperback novel. Her skin is deathly white. Her eyes, which you know were once dark brown, are black. She wears a long white dress with flowing sleeves. And the only real color about her is her crimson red lips as she is kind of um, not flying high above the ground, but just barely kind of flying uh, through the desert. You recognize Carmela also being on the hunt for Prince Antiphonus. Um, the final person that you recognize in the series of premonitions is uh, a woman that you've only met once. Um, <gasps> Grammy? <laughs> Not is it not is Grammy. it Ro Robin? Uh, Ren, yeah, you're close. Okay, that <laughs> was close. Robin, Robin like from bird. Batman. <laughs> yeah, the bird name. It's a bird name. Uh, yeah, Ren, True. who is this kindred that you ran into before. Um, she is a black woman who looks to be in her thirties. Oh. She's wearing tactical gear. Her springy curls are pulled back into a slick bun. She has several visible weapons. You can assume she has more hidden on her person. She is also with a group of people. Other members of the Camarilla who are on the hunt for the prince now that a blood hunt has been declared. And for anyone who doesn't remember, Ren is the character, I think not last session, but the session before, um, that you escaped from yeah, the yeah. prince's party and she followed you uh, and tried yeah, to get I you remember. to come back to the Camarilla. Mm -hmm. um, so, Dolores, you have your Wednesday Adams moment <laughs> and you see... <laughs> Uh, this distinctive outcropping, which once you come back into your own senses, um, you can see it's like a big enough outcropping in the mountainside that you kind of like scan the range around you and can see what this looks like. Um, you know, it's like, like I said, about an hour you could drive to get there, you think. Okay. Um, well, that was a lot to process. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit of Those a are some dump. new faces, some uh -huh. old faces. Mm -hmm. uh, can we just say I'm like in the front seat, I guess. Yeah, sure. Next to Bella. Mm -hmm. So um, she'll just say, just point in the direction of it, kind of lean forward and say, drive for another hour down there. Ooh, another hour. You got it. Uh, <laughs> Bella seems to be in like an unusually good mood, I would say, despite the very serious situation. Mm -hmm. Dolores gives her the side eye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Bella does not respond to that. She's not even paying attention to it, let me just say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, is, uh, first of all, is Dolores saying anything about the other people that she saw in uh, her premonition? Um, 
she'll just, you know, say, um, there are others here for the blood hunt as well. <sighs> Dang. I was hoping we wouldn't have to run into anybody so soon. Well, I'd rather have help. He needs to go down. Oh, don't you think they're going to fight us because they want to take the credit? I don't know. How does that work? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think um, Dolores, you, d you think depending on the people that you saw, there is a pretty strong chance that if you ran into one of these other kindred that they would try to uh, n not necessarily kill you, but at the very least dissuade you from going after the prince because like- Yeah, Carmela. Yeah, um, because it is kind of a thing of like, um, if they're going after a boon from the Camarilla, that the more people there are in the group, the lesser boons that everyone is going to get. If somebody wants oh, to right. consume the prince, only one kindred can do that. Like multiple kindred can help, but if somebody wants the prince's power, only they can do it. So uh, mm. that can also affect what's going on. You do know Santiago. So out of anybody that you saw, it's like, well, I don't think Santiago would kill me. <laughs> um, but yeah. also like, it, it's not a give given that he would want to like probably help not. your group um yeah yeah true i rescind <laughs> you, think, you think about it for a second and go mm, yeah maybe they don't want to help <laughs> but yeah is there anything that anyone would like to do knowing that there are other kindred that you could potentially run into um anything that anyone would like to do to try to help uh, either keep an eye out for other kindred or do something to try to obscure yourselves from them. Ooh, how could we obscure ourselves from them? I uh, don't have anything. Yeah, I don't know. It's been a little while since we played, so I don't know off the top of my head if any of you have, like, powers that you could use to obscure yourselves. Um, but you could, like, try to do something to, like, the vehicle to try to make it, like, quieter or blend in. Or you could ditch the car um, and try to just get the My car is actually painted camo, so. <laughs> so, is it, so you can't see it. Is it desert camo? <laughs> yes, it's desert camo. Okay, okay. You know what? That's fair. <laughs> um, but, yeah, somebody could our, also, like, be. I mean, our eyesight out. is really good, right? I think it depends. It depends on what your perception and things like that are. <laughs> oh, if our eyesight is really good, I was just going to say, I mean, we were probably driving with the lights off then, right? Oh, uh, yeah. You. That's up to Bella, I think, if you're driving with the lights off. Uh, I'll drive with the lights off. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Is anyone else wanting to do anything to look out for other kindred or prepare or anything like that? Yeah, uh, I don't have anything. <laughs> cool. Um, yeah, so you all drive for about an hour. Um, I am going to say um, this will be dreamy, I think, since you're driving. Oh, okay. um, oh, boy. I think this is going to be a check. Um, and I think it's going to be, <laughs> it's definitely going to be drive <laughs> as the, oh God, as I, the I don't have any drive. <laughs> uh, you don't have any drive? Oh, man. No. I um, and I think it will be, I think it would be a dexterity plus drive. So it would be just your dexterity. For this oh yo yo guys, this is not good. Um, and the uh, do put in your hunger. Um, if you don't okay. have anything in drive, it's just whatever your dexterity is. Yep. Um, okay. And then I'll set the difficulty for this is three. Oh, then I can't win, right? 
Uh, you cut if you crit, but you did not crit. <laughs> so, oh, okay, okay. So, uh, like, technically, if you would have gotten two crit successes, uh, then it would be four, because each crit oh, in pairs is okay. worth two. Um, but Dang. you did not. You uh, you um, failed by one. So, um, I am... Ooh, you know what? I think I'm going to look at something. Hang on real quick. Um, oh, here we there. Maybe I shouldn't have been in the driver's seat, guys. <laughs> I don't know why you let me do this. <laughs> um, ooh. Okay. I'm going to say, as you are driving, you uh, are unfortunately... Oh. Um, not your the lights are off the car is painted you know in camouflage um but it's still <laughs> like a jeep driving through the desert um there's not a ton of mm -hmm. you know space to be like hiding from something like you're all pretty visible uh -huh. um uh -huh. and i think as you're driving you're probably driving for like about a half an hour um okay. and see ahead of you um and mm -hmm. i don't think this would take a perception check from any of you um ahead of you this single figure that is kind of like swiftly flying across the desert in the same direction as you and as you mm -hmm. see her her head turns and spots you and she shifts her direction and starts driving towards your car Wait, so she was driving? No, she was flying. Not high. Like, she's kind of, like, just barely off the ground. Um, Run that bitch over, <laughs> Bella. God? Yeah. You can try. I mean, I'm going to wait for, I'm gonna wait for her to make a move, I guess. She's coming towards our car. Yeah, she's coming towards your car. Um, oh. She's dressed, like I mentioned, in this very long, white, mm -hmm. like, gown mm -hmm. um, with these, like, big, flowing sleeves. And she is flying towards you. And once she gets to a place where she can call out to you, um, you hear this chuckle from her. And she says, oh, so, <laughs> so we meet again. Wait, where Mella. is she in relation to our car? Uh, she's probably like, I would say 15 to 20 feet away. Uh, as she calls out to you. Is she to the side or in front of us or like what? She's in front of you. Oh, so she's like facing us? She's facing you, yeah. Oh, I mean, we're still driving. She's going backwards then? Um, I think she's stopped where she is. If you keep driving, like if, if she calls out to you and you don't stop or anything like that, um, then she kind of like moves to the side. Yeah, we're just going to keep driving. <laughs> you just... <laughs> You just don't say anything. Driving. Driving. Drive. Don't say anything. Yeah. <laughs> Is Dolores, Damn, what a power play. Dolores, are you are you doing anything as you see Carmela? <laughs> you don't have to. I just am wondering if you would. Um Man, part of me is like, let's jump out the car and fight that bitch, but she might die. So, yeah, that's true. Can I like throw some Crosa Vitator from behind and try to like slow her down or stop her or something? Um, I, don't know. I think Corosa Vitae specifically says it doesn't hurt Kindred. Oh um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that I think that's come up before. Um, so you could like try to like about, do something to her, but I don't think the cross. What about too. like a you know? I think I think Dolores kind of uh rubs me as like a knife bitch or like a dagger bitch. So. I see that. I see <laughs> yeah. that. She definitely has. You know, she gives off. The, yeah, she's 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 a knife. She's a knifey kind of gal. Uh -huh, so uh -huh. maybe just like yeah. Would I be able to like? Cloud or memory, maybe? I don't know. Uh yeah, you can definitely try that. Um, cloud memory I think only works for like a few seconds. So I don't right. know, like I just she... wanna fuck her up. Yeah, you could you can definitely attempt to cloud her memory. Like you'd still be by the time the effect wore off, you'd still be like visible in the desert to her, but yeah, you can still do it. Um, okay. 
is so we've got Dolores is going to throw a knife. Boots is going to try to cloud memory. Ah, uh, Bella's just driving. Uh, is Alex <laughs> doing anything to Carmela? Um, I think uh, I think Alex is gonna like lean out the window with the shotgun. <laughs> cool. oh, oh, very cool. Very shit. cool. Oh my god. <laughs> cool. Oh, okay. God. Um, so I think that this is kind of getting into, this is definitely getting into like combat. You've all described what you want to do. Um, so for the, uh, shotgun, um, and we'll resolve these kind of at the same time and then I'll describe what Carmela does in reaction. Um, so I believe for firearms it's been a little while since i played this game so let me remind myself uh i believe for firearms it is dexterity plus firearms to shoot um ranged weapons um is so your dice pool would be dexterity plus firearms um, if you have any specialties in firearms that apply to this, then you can use those. Also, uh, are you using your incendiary rounds for this shot? Oh, absolutely. Okay, that will give you a plus one to your dice pool. Um, and if you do damage to her, it is um, aggravated damage, as opposed to if it was just normal shotgun shot, it would just be superficial to a kindred. Um, so go ahead and put in your dice pool. Um, put in your hunger, um, and this is a contested roll, so she will roll to react to the, the blah, 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 to rack, I can't talk, <laughs> she will roll to react to this, um, as that is the most dangerous threat that she sees coming at her right now. Gotcha. Any difficulty to this? Uh, you don't put in a difficulty because it's contested. So the difficulty is whatever she ends up rolling, which I have not rolled yet because I'm trying to find whatever her stats are. Where's the gas squirter gun? I'm going to fucking set this thing <laughs> down. <laughs> you have to um, grab it from my holster. You actually have one? Yes, I said I had one. <laughs> yeah, she, she did. Idea. She did. Yeah. Say. Wait, so there's a gas gun. How would I set that? How would I make that fire? Um, I mean, I guess if you have a lighter. Yeah, I said there were lighters in the car. So. Yeah, there are lighters in the car. Mm -hmm. um, what? <laughs> Let's do that. Okay, mm -hmm. so you got. It looks like three successes. I'm gonna roll her uh, against. She also got three successes. Um, oh, shit. so that is oh, going God. to, uh, be like, you know, a match. She's not going to take any damage from that. Um, before I like narrate all of this, I'm going to go ahead and resolve what each person is doing. So then it can be like, this happens, this happens, mm -hmm. this happens. Mm -hmm. Uh, so I think the next thing we can do is the knife attack. Um, and that's- Can I, can I try the fire thing after? If you want to switch and do fire instead, uh, you can. Um, it is up to you what you want to do. Like, if you want to, if you, like, if you do the knife Balls. attack now, you could, like, you can do that. And then the next thing you do is the fire thing. If you want to do the fire thing now, you can do the fire thing now. Balls to the wall. I've been inspired. <laughs> Very cool. Okay. So this is, I think it's kind of. I mean, you're using a squirt gun. I think it's going to be the same. <laughs> I think it's going to be dexterity I'm plus... I'm going to take this bitch down with the goddamn squirt gun. <laughs> it's it's going to be... You want to call it like a can? I don't know. It, I think it's going to be dexterity plus firearms for your role as well. Um, you're not going to get the plus one to this because it is like a, definitely an improvised weapon. So it's not as like for sure of a thing as, mm -hmm. you know, just having a shotgun with these, uh, these shells in it. Um, but she is going to get a penalty to her dice pool because two different people like attacked her at the same time. Um, okay. so whatever yours is, uh, it's dexterity plus firearms, um, and then put in your hunger, which is two now, and no difficulty. Uh, wow! We'll roll for her. Okay, one success. Uh, so her pool <laughs> is gonna be only three now, I believe. Ooh. Um, I hope she gets a bestial failure. 
Uh, Dang. she also got one. Okay, so she's oh managing God. just barely to, uh, you know, meet these attacks. Uh, but we still have Boots's role <laughs> of Cloud Memory, which is I just, just I just want to confuse her. I want to disorient her. It's kind of confusing. Um, so the way your Cloud Memory works is, or I could do like, wait, I have rapid reflexes with that. Um, rapid reflexes uh, is a defensive ability. So if she was attacking you, you could use rapid oh, reflexes. Fuck. Um, or my see. fleetness. Uh, that's defensive, oh, huh? Is your yeah your fleetness is defense as well, I believe. Yeah. Okay. So well, never mind. Yeah. Okay. So cloud. Uh, I could all. I could use all. <laughs> you, I didn't know if anything would work. Uh. Ah. <laughs> oh, da 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 da. Zone, I love oh. the cloud memory. <laughs> I know, I'm like, I just want, I just want to, like, disorient her for a split second. I think if like, you want to disorient fuck? her, I think Cloud Memory is a better bet than Awe. Because uh, Awe works very well against mortals. It can work yeah. against Kindred, but it's less likely to. Um, yeah. So you will roll. We also don't know if she swings that way. <laughs> That's, <laughs> That's true. true. You don't know. Um, you will roll your Charisma plus Dominate. Uh, so however many dots you have okay. in charisma plus dominate. however many dots you have in dominate, which is your um, your discipline. Uh, so it'll be in a different spot. Um, and then she will roll wits plus resolve. Let me see what hers is to see if this cloud memory works, which is very funny. <laughs> um, all right. No rouse. Uh, this one does not require a rouse check. Okay. Um, and a rouse check? <laughs> yes, this one does not. Oh, God. This one doesn't require you to be aroused. Oh, wait, what? H roll. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I don't think. I think what you. What the hell is I that? I think you need to re roll it. Wait, so what happened? It, you did H oh, roll v. instead of V roll. So what happened since the last time we played is that this bot added for oh, like gotcha. hunter and uh, werewolf and go. all these other things. <laughs> there you go. Oh, you did not put Sorry. in your hunger, so unfortunately, Fuck. you do have to re roll it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm forgetting God. everything. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. This is this. We have a potential for this to be like even better. Yeah, though, yeah. You know? Yeah. So it's V roll your dice pool plus your hunger, no difficulty. Okay, and it was well, you crit. Okay. So. You critted one. Oh shit. Yeah, just one crit doesn't do anything if you have two crits. So one crit oh. counts as one success. Two crits counts as four successes. Don't ask me why I didn't write this game. <laughs> um, okay, so she rolls versus you. Um, and I've already forgotten what attributes she's rolling. Uh, wits plus resolve. Okay, let me see what she's got in wits plus resolve. Um, okay. Da, da, da. Oh my god. Okay. Um, and it's the same dice pool. And I add her hunger. Uh, oh! <laughs> it did work! <laughs> okay. Yay! Cloud memory worked! Okay. Yay! <laughs> so, <laughs> so funny. All right. Uh, so cloud memory, the results of it are... <laughs> this is a barrage so, of, like, all of our fucking yeah, abilities. <laughs> just, she, she says, oh, ha it's good to see you again, and then just a flurry of things happen. <laughs> she says it again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see that you're here. Okay, really so sounds... uh, by uttering the phrase forget, the user can make the dominated victim forget the current moment as well as the last few minutes, enough to mask a superficial feeling or a chance meeting. No new memories are formed, and if pressed, the victim realizes they've had, they have a few minutes not missing so oh here's what God. here's what this looks like um <laughs> so alex and dolores the, okay carmella appears and is like oh how, good to see you again or whatever is she said uh, and, and bella keeps driving no change yep. <laughs> just like all right we don't have time for this carmella moves out of the way the other three of you in sequence alex does this really badass thing leans out of the car window this 
this pillar of fire shooting out of the shotgun, uh, which Carmella <laughs> just kind of deftly moves out of the way, as well as a slightly less impressive um, and extremely dangerous God uh, damn it. Just squirt of the squirt gun with Can a lighter. It, does it give me a squirt gun? <laughs> Dreamer. It'll be like something cooler, like a, no, I'll use the lighter and then just like, yeah. I don't know, whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, but she's able to, uh, use a fucking squirt yeah, gun. She's able to, yeah. I think, just fly a bit higher to avoid that. Uh, and then Boots just shouts, forget! <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like I'm trying to forget. Yeah. 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 And Carmela's eyes kind fuck? of like, glaze over for a second she looks confused um bella is continuing to drive um yes. so i'll say with the with the compel working um and or not compel the cloud memory working and carmella being kind of just a little bit caught off guard by that happening she will lose her chance to act in this round um what would the four of you like to do She's you're you're past her. So when you started, when when Bella was driving, she was probably like fifteen to twenty feet in front of you. All of this happens. You're now. She's probably now fifteen to twenty feet behind you, looking a little bit dazed. Can I back up over her? <laughs> she's 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 fl- she had to fly up to get out of the way of the oh, other attack. Okay. So I don't think you can run over her now. Um, you could try to do something to pull her down to you. Um, if you would like to use your turn to do that. Yeah, who wants to lasso her? <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. I guess I feel like I would just keep going because there's nothing really that Bella could do right now. Yeah. Yeah. So Bella's still driving. <laughs> yeah. Are the other three of you doing anything? Damn. I just... I... I don't know. <laughs> I should have gotten a fucking... <laughs> flamethrower or some shit and gone, gone out Blades of Glory right? style. Uh, A fucking well, Elon Musk flamethrower. She's yeah. oriented right now, right? So we could attack her again. You could attack her I, again, yeah. Can I not use... Can I use something that looks cooler? <laughs> <laughs> I'll say... Yeah, yeah if, you like, want, if you want to, to try to use... I'll say you can have another one of, like, a shotgun like what Wave has. All right, I'll I don't do think Dolores is good with guns, so no. I still don't know how well it's going to go. She doesn't have any. Oh, it's probably... It's probably so, yeah, I mean, she's been, like, around enough, but she probably, like... Oh, man. Yeah, so would, if you want to use uh, any kind of, like, gun type of thing, it's going to be just your dexterity then, um, and your, and then put your hunger in. Um, and she... So it's like fire the only thing that'll really, like, do it? Um, yeah. Any other... As far as you know, any other thing that you would use against her would only cause superficial damage, um, which Kindred don't really die from superficial damage. They die from aggravated damage. Um, which is the same for all of you as well. Like, most things other than fire don't really hurt you. Uh, except for Alex. Could <laughs> I? <laughs> Being a thin <laughs> blood, I think, but... Right. What if I were to cause like a huge fire? Or is there any? Is she like around any shrubbery that I could set on fire? You could definitely set something in the desert on fire. Um, and even with her being up in the air, that would be pretty dangerous for her because it would catch pretty quickly. You're in a desert. Um, so yes. do you want to try to do that? The difficulty would definitely be easier to. Yeah, let's that. set something on fire. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Um, so this will still be just dexterity because you're still using firearms to do this. Um, but the difficulty is only going to be two. Uh, and really the two is just because you're driving. If, if you weren't driving, it would just be one. Okay, so what's my dexterity? Let's see. Uh, three... And then uh, do put in your hunger. Do put in your hunger. <laughs> and a difficulty of two. All right. Let's go. Oh, oh my God. Yeah, this is my music. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. Um, yeah. You, Dolores, like kind of take in for a second what the situation is and realize that 
your abilities are not particularly fit to take down Carmela in this moment. You uh, grab another one of these shotguns with the uh, dragon's breath. Yeah. Uh, and take a shot. Can I just, can I just steal it? <laughs> <laughs> no, just, just take it from Alex. Just take it from Alex. <laughs> no, then I'm going to have to fucking do Total. like a goddamn like strength check and then I'm going to lose. It's going to fucking hit me in the goddamn face. I'm going to knock down. Yeah. yeah. Unless Total he just, you know, would let me. <laughs> I don't have to go through that. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, if you just want to ask Alex to use his gun I for a second. <laughs> <laughs> that would also work. Yeah. I just take him. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know if that's worth rolling for if you're not, like, stealing it forever. Uh, so you kind of... It's more of those moments of, like, she's just so, like, tunnel visioned and just, like, I have to get this <laughs> bitch on fire right now. Just, like, do it. You know? Yeah. You know what? I don't I, know. I, uh, go ahead. What were you going to say? Wave. I was just going to say, I can see like Alex is like still leaning out the window with the shotgun and <laughs> Dolores like <laughs> pops out of her window <laughs> and reaches out and grabs it out of his fucking hands. Yeah. Fact, almost, <laughs> oh my God. I almost think what it is, is like Alex is leaning out the window with a shotgun. Dolores does this quick like thing of like, I'm not going to be able to shoot her. Um, And not even like fully taking the gun from Alex, but just kind of like, at the last minute pulls the muzzle so it's aiming down at the ground at like some mm. of the like uh, brush and stuff like that that's in the <laughs> desert and the shotgun goes off this fire comes out of the end of it uh, and it quickly catches on other, you know, brush and stuff like yeah. that that's out in the desert, uh, creating Ooh. this uh, quickly, wa- like, rising wall of fire. Um, that's what I'm talking about, not some fucking stupid-ass squirt gun. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't my style, all right? And, it's just in case, you know? Yeah, and you're able to... Uh, that's enough to be able to put distance Imagine saying you that you were a vampire that got taken out by a gas squirt gun. <laughs> Yeah, what a shame. <laughs> Not that a would be day. pretty shameful. You deserve yeah. to die at that point. Um, It'd be very embarrassing. <laughs> as you drive away from this blaze that you have sent up, uh, you can kind of look behind you and uh, definitely did not kill Carmella because it's like, you know, like it, she definitely took some damage from just that happening. Um, but this fire is kind of growing between you and her. So she's not. Oh, yeah. To, there's, I, to, I imagine yeah. one of those shots where like the fire is starting and then you see a sh- like mm-hmm. there's like Dolores and you see the reflection of the fire. She's just like glaring. She's like, I'll deal with you later. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but you've definitely got out of that situation. Um, the cloud memory really coming in clutch <laughs> because she didn't really get a chance to act uh, from just there being kind of confused that that worked on her. <laughs> forget. <laughs> just um, forget, bitch. Oh, forget about it. Forget about it, bitch. Sometimes the rules don't go in her favor. Uh, you all continue to drive and arrive at this location that Dolores has seen in this premonition. Um, and, um, can see upon, like, arriving there, um, I think if Dolores had not had the premonition of seeing this little bit of It's light, Santiago! That two- <laughs> that back- not too timing <laughs> too tar- <laughs> That backstabbing bitch. Uh, no, he don't- yeah, uh, it's not Santiago who's here, it's just the- oh. the- yeah, sorry. <laughs> the- the door. Uh, that you saw oh, in your premonition. Oh, it's just the door. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sorry. Sorry to get you all wild, wild up. Wait, yeah. can, can we park a bit away from there? Yes, you definitely can. And walk so, over. Yeah, so as you're like driving up, you see you're close to this outcropping. Um, and looking beneath it, um, if it weren't for Dolores's vision and knowing what this is, you would really not be able to see there is like a door here. It's very well disguised in the rock. Um, but you Ayo. park your car a little bit away. Um, and I'll say since you're close to like the mountain range now, you could even park your car like kind of uh, like behind some like rocks or something like that. Or even you could like find a like another little cave or outcropping to park your car in. Um, if you don't want it to be immediately visible, that's up to you. Um, and you all begin to walk towards, uh, the place that Dolores saw in her vision. Um. Yeah, we should have got some goddamn flamethrowers or something. <laughs> I mean, what, you have, you have a squirt gun with some... 
<laughs> some That's gas horrible. Some lighters. That's all you need. I was the only one who thought to bring it. Okay. <laughs> Good point. Um, I mean, okay. Let me hang on. Let me look at this thing. Okay. So, um, there is a bit of an outcropping in the mountainside, just enough to provide shade from the moonlight. Looking closer, you realize that directly underneath the outcropping, there's a door disguised to look like part of the mountainside. But now that you know that it's there, the color isn't quite right. It doesn't exactly match the patterns of wind-worn sandstone of the rock around it. Uh, and you can see that there's this door here. Um, what do you all want to do? Um, we should go there quietly. Do we have any senses that we could, I mean, I personally, I don't, but <laughs> does anyone have any senses where they could potentially sense other kindred? Oh my goodness. Uh, as you're thinking about that, Tisha came in with bits. So you all get to take a plus one. Uh, Yay! Yes! Yes! I actually need, I need that so bad, dude. Yeah, dreamy, dreamy no, you do not. I do. Yeah, I, you better use this. Yeah, I will. If you I hoard will. these <laughs> dice rolls and then don't even use don't them. Don't ever use them. Uh, I swear to God. Yeah, what if I like die before I could use them? I hope you don't. Then you should be ashamed uh, oh of yourself. Oh my god. And then with... You die a filthy, filthy hoarder. <laughs> oh Tisha! No. Tisha also, though, tipped uh, a thousand bits, which, Tisha, let me Whoa. know if you want their hunger to go up or if you want me to introduce a complication. Up to you. With oh boy. The, with the oh bits. no. Um, but you do, you know, you you get to you get to be a little bit more. Tisha first said, "I will prepare y'all for what." Let's comes just do next. a complication, and <laughs> somebody gets pregnant. Oh my <laughs> god. Oh, <no. laughs> just 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 out of the blue. Yeah. Um. So while I wait to see what is happening with that, whether it's hunger or a complication, um, mm -hmm. ye, do yeah, do any of you have like senses or things that you want to do? Uh, to say anything about what's going on or anything to prepare before you go into the door. Um, up to you. Um. <laughs> there always is the option of just walking in. Oh, wait, I have heightened senses. Uh, you do have heightened senses. That means that... I think you get to add to your perception-based checks. Um, da, 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 da. Oh, yes, yeah, your user adds uh, the user adds their auspex rating to all perception rolls. If Ooh. exposed to extreme sensations such as loud bangs, flashes of intense light, or overpowering smells while the power is active, the user must succeed on a wits plus resolve roll to dampen their senses in time. Uh, so it does not take a, a rouse check or anything like that. You can just use it. Um, so if you would like to try to see if you can sense anything that's going on behind this door, um, yeah. you can roll... Uh, let me see. What would this be? It's definitely... Perception as pool thirty seven hunger <laughs> oh, zero okay. um, plus fifty two. <laughs> oh wow! You got, you got, <laughs> I wish you've got a lot going on that I didn't know about. Yeah. Um, I think this is wits and awareness. That's usually like generally perception. So you'll roll wits plus awareness plus well, then wits plus resolve. Is that? Uh, well, resolve. Oh, that's if um. The wits plus resolve in the thing is if you're exposed to a sudden like flash of oh, light. Oh, right, 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 right. Okay, so, so wits and one and what? Uh, wits plus awareness plus whatever your auspex rating is, which I think is either two or three now. I don't remember. Okay, so and the auspex rating? Yes. However many. So one, you have two, an three, and four, then... five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, bitch. Nine. And do put your hunger in. Otherwise, you'll have to re-roll. Seven, eight, know. nine, bet. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm in a silly Billy mood today. Okay. Hey, we might be able to kill your enemy, so. I'm I'm feeling good. Okay, difficulty what? Two? Uh, difficulty for this is, uh, I believe three. Oh shit, three. Okay, okay. Here we go. Here we go. Come on, come on, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah! Not, oh, you didn't put your hunger in, so you, so you do have to re-roll. <laughs> Unfortunately. Oh, no. It's okay, hunger. I believe, I believe. Okay, wait. Difficult, difficulty. Yeah, your pool is nine, difficulty three, and hunger two. 
Come on, baby, give me the good stuff. There you go. Okay, okay there you uh, go. Still a success, so you're good. Um, We're yay. good. We're fine. Okay. We're good. So you are looking at this door, and... Uh, and I realize it's a door. And you, yeah, imagine that. <laughs> That's and it. You go through the whole <laughs> thing, and I just tell you it's a door. Um, you sense, you smell just a whiff of smoke in the air, not from what you have done, but like seeping out from like barbecue the door. smoke or just gonna... <laughs> yeah, barbecue smoke. You think they're having a barbecue in there? <laughs> <laughs> and that's why and then they all have a barbecue. That's why we came all the way out here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> For the barbecue. They all have a barbecue, and the end. It's all happy, happily ever after. Okay, now there's a fire in there then. Uh, yeah, you definitely smell smoke. Shit, maybe somebody got in there first. Oh. Maybe someone's already killing him. Damn it! Fuck. Um, okay, I think she's just gonna... quickly but quietly... Open the door. Open the door and see if... Yeah. Uh, um, he'll just try to make sure they get in there. Uh, is everyone going along with Dolores, or is Dolores going rogue? Uh, Alex is going in. Bella, Boots? I'll go in, but I want to be the last one. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> is Boots going in? Yes. Yes, I am. Reluctantly, but I am. Okay. Um, so Dolores, you go up to the store. You're, you are on edge because you're like, okay, there's something, something weird's happening here. I do smell smoke. Um, mm -hmm. so go ahead, everyone. Oh God. Uh, and you're going to make a dexterity plus athletics check. The difficulty is three, but. Dude, it's, it's not happening for uh, me. You can add one to your dice pool because you know something Dreamy, is up. here you go. You can use your plus 12. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can. Dreamy, you're welcome to use as many no, as you want. No, no, no. I must save <laughs> that. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Did you get. Oh, you failed. Okay, wait. So, dexterity. Dexterity plus athletics, and you get to add one more to your pool. Oof. Nope, I failed too. Okay. Uh, Guys, this difficulty? is going to be one of the ones that we cannot reroll. Uh, I feel. Yes, you will. You will not be able to reroll this. Uh, difficulty is three. Um, do put your hunger in. Yeah, let's go, hey! baby! I'm the sneaky hey! motherfucker. Oh shit! <laughs> me and Boots are the sneaky. Oh my god. Um. Oh my god. So queens. Dolores yeah. opens the door, and there is this stronger scent of this whiff of smoke, and too late. Bella and wave, wave, not wave. Alex, <laughs> wave is there. Waves in there. <laughs> no. Just like <laughs> just <laughs> no. Too late. Um, Bella and Alex specifically. You recognize more specifically what the scent is, which is these dragon's breath rounds. And as the door opens, there are a series of shotgun, fiery shotgun blasts. So, Bella, you are going like at, us? at you. Um, oh, Dolores uh... and Boots, you two are able to move out of the way. Dolores, you open the door and immediately, like, step aside. Boots, you step to the other side. But that leaves the other two exposed. Um, Bella, oh. you are going to take two aggravated damage. Okay, hold on. Oh, um, no. And uh. Alex is going to take one aggravated damage. Um, oh boy. And then after the two of you take I this... couldn't use Alex as like a meat shield or something? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was literally in last. Yes. Oh, oh shit. It's, it's, a, I... it's a spray of fire. So okay. being in Sorry, Alex. Also, I, I don't remember what max health was. I don't think we oh, finished that. It's, uh, I think it's your stamina plus three is what your max health is. Yep. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you'll take one aggravated damage, um, which if you're if you run out of health with aggravated damage, you go into torpor. If you run out of health with um, uh, whatever the other kind of damage is, superficial damage, something mm -hmm. else happens, but it's not quite as bad. But aggravated damage is pretty bad. Also, both of you who took damage mm -hmm. will need to make a roll to resist a fear frenzy. 
Um, the way that that mm-hmm. works is, um, I believe it's a willpower check. Let me go down to, oh, actually, I don't know. Alex might not have to do this. Oh, no, you do, because you took so you took one of the traits as a thin blood that you are still subject to frenzies. Because uh, this has happened before. You've had to make a few frenzy before. Um, okay. Da, 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 da. Terror frenzy. Threat like sunlight, open flames, severe injury. Um, this is going to be a difficulty of two. Mm-hmm. Um, and you are going to roll just uh, Bella and Alex have to do this. Um, your, uh, dice equal to one third of your humanity rounded down plus your willpower. So whatever your willpower is plus, uh, for Alex, it would be two for your humanity. Um, and Bella, it would be one for your humanity. I believe. So it's your humanity plus what? Plus willpower. Um, oh, okay. So whatever your willpower is, your current willpower, which should be full, um, and you do not add hunger dice to this one uh, for we, for fury. Or, what is the difficulty? Uh, the difficulty is da, 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 um, uh, I think you just have to get one success. Let me check. Oh, okay. Uh, I think you just have to get one success. Okay, oh no, I'm sorry, rolling. the difficulty's two. I forgot. It's oh, okay. it's based on what the thing is. So yeah, the difficulty's two. What's uh what's maximum willpower? You uh can't. your willpower is resolve plus uh something else. Uh let me look at the attributes. Uh stamina plus resolve, I believe. <laughs> something like that. Oh, yeah, shit. stamina plus oh, resolve. Yo, is this what is a sick song is. for what's going on. Um, yeah, so you'll do stamina plus resolve plus two, Alex, and then dreamy it's stamina plus resolve plus one. And you're in the difficulties two, you don't need to put your hunger in. Okay, I did my thing. Um, okay. Oh, yeah, both of you did. Uh, okay, both of you got enough successes. So basically, this is what happens Dolores opens the door, the spray of fire comes out. Dolores and Boots are able to quickly jump out of the way before uh, they are overtaken by flames. But Bella and Alex both are uh, just a little bit too slow to realize what's going on as the fire licks against your skin, causing uh, significant burning uh, enough to do super er, uh, actual damage to both of you. Um, You feel this instinctual terror start to take root as like the one thing that can really hurt you has hurt you significantly but both of you are able to push that down and keep from just running away in abject <clears throat> terror from what you've just what's just happened to you yeah um and as you're all like reacting to what has just who happened who did that well <laughs> You're about to find out. Uh, You see this row of these shotguns in front of you that are tripped by the door opening. It's like a, like just a trap Mm -hmm. there. Um, And as the smoke and fire dies down from the door, like this blast of the door opening, um, you, as the smoke and flame dissipate, you can see a figure standing behind it all, holding a whip in one hand and a red hot piece of metal in the other. She's a oh, white. It's the sheriff. <laughs> yeah, she's a white woman with bleached blonde hair and a well healed but clearly visible burn scar around her left eye. You all recognize her as Claudia oh. Rex, one time sheriff of Los Angeles, nicknamed the Prince's Bulldog, and she's smiling as she faces you down. I think this is a good time for us to take our first break. <laughs> Oh my god! Okay. <laughs> okay. Very. Okay. You're so good at those like yeah, cliffhangers, Thank cinematic you. cliffhangers. Thank you. Uh, so we're gonna take a quick break. Uh, we're gonna be gone for 15 minutes. Uh, if you are in chat, um, you're gonna be able to see some more information about all of my players here today. You should give them all a follow if you are not already. Uh, we're gonna be back in 15 minutes with some more stuff. We're gonna see how this 
how this all happens, whether they die, <laughs> uh, whether they make it to the prince, we'll see. Uh, but do you all, for now... Find out next time on Vampire <laughs> the Masquerade. <laughs> yes, uh, do you all want to say goodbye mm -hmm. for now to chat? Goodbye. Bye. Bye, Betches. <laughs> Bye. Felicitations, adventures. We are back with the second half of Blood Hunt, our Vampire the Masquerade finale one-shot. So far, our kindred have gone up against uh, Dolores' sire and mortal enemy. Um, and basically, it seemed like she wanted to talk to you and you kind of just drove away. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, fire, so, bitch. Yeah, you separated uh, but your fire oh God, between the it. two of you, yeah. so that you were able to do that. You got to uh, presumably the bunker where Prince Antiphonus is hunkering down to escape the fact that all these kindred are hunting him. And when you opened the door, we're met with a spray of fire, some of you taking damage, others of you managing to avoid it. Um, and unfortunately, that's not all, <laughs> because as you, uh, as the fire uh you know, the spray from these shotguns died down. You are left looking at Claudia Rex, the former sheriff of mm. Los Angeles um, and the prince's right-hand woman known often as the princess bulldog. She has a whip in one hand and a branding iron in the other. Um, what would you all like to do? Uh, is there can I any... squirt some gas Move on out her? of the way, Claude. Wait, do I know her name? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you would know her name. Bitch, move out of the way. <laughs> you might be able to coordinate, like, someone squirts the gas. I, I have the lighter. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> you can definitely yeah, just so... say, just, like, move out of the way. Uh, yeah, if I'll you... try to get behind her. If you know. say... And then we can coordinate something. <laughs> yeah. Um, so... In, like, with this game, if you want to, like, coordinate things, you can definitely do that. It's not like D&D &D where it's, like, one person has to take a turn and then another person has to take yeah. a turn. Like, you can team up to do things. Um, right. Wave, were you going to ask something? Yeah. Is there anything between us and her? Uh, just kind of a, a row of these shotguns that were, that were like, set to, like, trip when the door <laughs> opened. Um, but that's, it's not like, um, it's not like a wall or anything. It's just, like, kind of they're propped up like on little like trap things if that makes sense i'm i'm very much yeah. imagining like in fallout like those shotgun traps oh no yeah like, i know i know exactly like... what you're thinking of yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so that's really the only thing between the two of you also um this is not really necessarily between the two of you uh, but because Tisha was so kind to tip uh, a thousand bits, I'm going to go ahead and introduce kind of a complication to the scene, which is uh, <gasps> Dolores, you realize why you smelled the smoke already. As you look and see on the ground, some just ashes where Kindred must have once been. Um, oh. And off to the side, uh, very close to entering into torpor and definitely like taken out of com combat, you recognize Santiago oh, laying on the Santiago? ground. Santiago! Oh, yeah. it's actually happening. Oh, oh my god. Um, but yes, not not dead yet, but barely conscious. Santiago on the ground. All right. Oh, no. All right. Just, uh, fuck. Boots can empathize. God damn it. <laughs> yeah. Fine. I don't think I can do much, but I got some like medicine type shit. Uh, yeah. Do you want to do that now, or do you want to uh, oh, no. do something to Claudia first? You know, what? I'll just take. I'll look at him, and then I'll just, you know, I look visibly angry, and I kind of um. Okay, I wanted to coordinate something because like we should. Yeah. Because like we we only can kill her with fire and like steak mm -hmm. right with like good to give her some like steak yeah <laughs> on a plate yeah, yeah if you bring her some so good that she passes away some steak fajitas some steak uh, fajitas <laughs> <laughs> we'll bribe her with some delicioso steak fajitas <laughs> Um, um, yeah, you would think that your best chances, if you want to try to outright kill her, 
would be um, if you can get a steak to her heart. It's more difficult to do that. It's what's called a called shot. So it adds to the difficulty a little bit. But a steak to a kindred's heart immediately puts them into torpor when they're not able to fight back. So it'd be easy to take her out after that point. Um, or if you can do enough fire damage or... Mm -hmm. Um, if if it was daytime sunlight, but it's it's not daytime right now. Um, and I also think beheading or dissolving an acid would also work for kindred. Um, I don't think you all have <laughs> a particular amount of acid, uh, but if you can do enough damage to be able to behead. Oh yeah, her. I have like five tabs. <laughs> uh -huh, yeah. <laughs> um, so fire or for each of us. Fire and snake <laughs> is definitely your best bet <laughs> right now. Um, could could uh could Alex like try to restrain her to have somebody else just like put a stake in her chest or? yeah for sure yeah that, if you restrain her it makes it easier for someone we could even like her. involve the fire involved we can get the fire involved somehow not make it feel left out you know mm -hmm. like maybe set something or like put her in a ring of fire you just want to light shit on fire <laughs> <laughs> Somebody will want to watch the world burn. <laughs> right. What can I say? I'm just a burn everything on fire type of gal. Or That's... no, no. Um, I don't know. Um, yeah. If uh, Alex, if you want to try to restrain her, it would be a contested role. So it'd be you versus her. Um, it would be strength plus, I believe brawl is for grappling. Oh shit! Um, okay. Um, let me make sure that's right. Uh, yeah, a, a brawl is unarmed combat of all types, and also I think I don't know if you have this, but if you have a specialty in grappling, um, that could help. But I don't know if you do. Uh, I don't. Okay. I have like lethal body but i don't think that's going to be applicable uh i believe lethal body is not applicable to kindred if i remember correctly let me really quick check um da, da, da. yes lethal body is immortals specifically um so that would not help but uh what did you just hang on let me see if the thing you just got haven't rolled yet. Matters. Oh, I mean, I mean, like the ability. Oh, uh, the uh, prowess. Right. Yes. Um. Okay. So uh, technically, prowess is adding damage. I'll say you could add your potence to a roll to try to restrain her. So your check would be. Stick through the heart. Um, your check would then be strength plus <laughs> brawl plus potence for this roll. Uh, what if multiple of us try to restrain her? You you definitely can. Uh, none of the rest of you have good uh, <laughs> strength, though, right? Yeah. I just upgraded my strength, so now it's a two, so nice try. Yeah, same. <laughs> She'd have gotten more fucking okay, I muscle mean, a for this. Two, a two in strength is better than a one. It's it's not incredible, but you could do it. Um, so Okay, so mm -hmm. it's, it would still be strength plus brawl if boots or... Um, Bella wanted to help. I believe if multiple people are going after her, um, it help or it uh, makes it harder for her to resist. Let me look. I know that's on here somewhere. Uh, da, 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 da. Teamwork. Uh, oh, okay. So I think it would be a teamwork roll, actually. Roll the largest pool among participants and add one die per participant that has at least one dot in the skill. So actually, if Bella and Boots are helping with the restraint, do either of you have dots yeah. in Brawl? No. no, I only have dots in Strength. Um, does Boots yeah, we have... both have two. Okay. So technically i don't think that you can help with it but you know what i'm gonna say you both have two dots in strength oh my gosh my camera <laughs> why is this happening you have to do I the beauty guru now. thing i do <laughs> um thank you dreamy for letting me know um okay so i'll say fuck it uh technically you're supposed to have the skill you both just took dots in strength i think that should be honored um okay so Alex can make a roll. It's going to be strength plus brawl plus two from potence plus two from the other two helping you uh, to try Ooh. to restrain Claudia. No, okay. 
No difficulty because this is contested. No right? difficulty, but do put your hunger in. Otherwise, you'll have to re-roll. Um, um, she she still has a weapon, right? She does still have a weapon. I kind of want to. Can I corrosivite her weapon? Yes, you can. Uh, the fuck the, yeah, the, baby. Do you want to go for? I think technically it works on metal, but I don't see why it wouldn't work on her whip. Uh, do you, so which of her two weapons do you want to go for? What has she got? She's got a whip and she's got a like a iron brand. It's like a piece of like iron that's like. Burning. What do you think? It's what do like you guys red think? Hot. We, yeah, red hot. What do you guys think would be better? Get, get rid, rid of. of get rid of the iron brand because uh uh Alex has like trauma from that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but what about the other one that can kill us? <laughs> Screw Alex's trauma, I don't wanna die. <laughs> I mean an iron brand would basically be fire damage. Yeah, uh so do, yeah. yeah. Whereas the whip to you it just seems like it's a whip. Yeah, maybe it's for kinky Maybe. shit. Alright. Yeah, we don't know, yeah. <laughs> you don't know. We don't know. Yeah. We don't know. All right. Okay. The brand makes sense then. Ooh. Okay. So, uh, okay. So we'll do the grapple. We'll resolve that first, I think. Um, okay. So let me check what her stats are. Um, da, 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 da. Okay. It is going to be a difficult check um, because she does get a good bonus to this. Um, let me... Rolled it. Ooh, <laughs> Alex did, did roll pretty well. Okay, so let's see. This roll. Fucking hell. Um, it's a lot. Yeah, I have five strength and four brawl. Yeah, this is right okay. down your fucking alley. So. So with all of that help. Oh dang, <laughs> this is a significant yeah. difference. Okay, she is gonna. Spend some willpower to re-roll, which Alex, you are welcome to do as well, although you don't necessarily need to. You only got four, you know, blank dice. Um, but let me spend one of her willpower to try to resist this because it is pretty important. She does not want to be grappled by everybody. <laughs> um which she can re-roll. Uh, that many. Oh, woof. Okay. Yeah, okay. So she still really failed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we'll narrate that in a second, but we definitely know that Alex is, at, the three of you really are successfully holding her back. Um, and Dolores, you are using this opportunity to use your corrosive vitae uh, to damage her weapon. Uh, let me remind myself of what specifically corrosive vitae. Okay, uh, so go ahead and make a rouse check, Dolores, um, which should mm. just be slash v rouse to do it. V rouse. I believe okay. so. Yeah. Well, this is rouse. <laughs> rousing. Okay. <laughs> rousing. Okay, you that succeeded. Hunger's unchanged. Um. Da, 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 da. Okay. Um. So so I think that's definitely based on my quick scan of this description. Um, Dolores, go ahead and describe how you are um, damaging this uh, hot iron that she has. So I have to use my own blood. You have to use right? your own blood, yes. So as soon as she sees like Santiago and stuff, she just like uh, whips her head back to Rex whatever and then just you know just anger right just cuts mm -hmm. her hand um and as she's like school i guess cuts her i guess her right hand with her left with the dagger or something mm -hmm. and then just like squeezes her palm just like shaking with rage and then just um uses that blood to essentially like melt the iron brand yeah, I think you're able to completely sever, like, through. So, like, the, the burning hot part of the brand uh, bends and, like, falls off of the rest of it. Um, she still has, like, the, you know, it's like a bar. So she still has that. But the, the hot part of it has fallen off. While that is happening, um, Alex, with Boots and Bella's help, uh, describe how you are able to uh, restrain Claudia for the moment. Um, I want to say Alex um, 
pushes past the row of shotguns and uh, is able to approach her and kind of get one of his arms under one of hers. Mm -hmm. And then is able to kind of go around her and put his other arm under her other arm and just hold her back like that by her arms. Yeah, Uh, you are able to hold her. Uh, She also gets to act. Uh, There's not as much that she can do. Um, And especially because Bella and Boots are also like kind of (laughs) hanging on to her as well. Uh, But she is going to try something. Let me remind myself of how this works. Uh Um, (laughs) Uh-oh. Um... Um, she is going to try to do a specific attack. And... Dee, dee, dee. Uh, no, that's not it. That's not it. Where the hell is this in here? Fail, 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 fail. <laughs> I need to remind myself of even specifically. Okay. Uh, I'm she... whispering the fail spell. She is going to attempt to bite Alex. Uh, because oh. you're close enough. Oh my god. Um, this Uh-oh. is this is also considered a called shot. Um, I'll also say because she's grappled right now on your next like on the next round of combat. If someone wants to grapple or if someone wants to bite her, you can. The first thing you do in order to be able to bite someone better is to grapple them. Um, so she being grappled is uh you know not able to do this as well um okay so she has to uh or directly strength plus brawl but she has a i'm gonna say normally it's a one penalty success i think it's gonna be two penalty because she uh is grappled um so let me do this roll for her it's gonna be nine dice it's going to be a hunger of one. And... Um, oh, I need to figure out what the... I think this is contested. Let me check. How does this work? Oh my god, I scrolled past it again. I don't know how to play this game. Okay. Um... Okay, so Alex, you will roll another strength plus brawl roll. This time you do not add your potence, but uh, I think if you want to, you just took fleetness, right? I think if that might apply. Uh, let me roll for her first so I can do that. Man, she has these big pools, but not uh, rolling that well. She's going to spend yes. willpower. Because this is pretty important. She is not having okay, that was her day. She's really she's really not having her day. Okay, so uh, she got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven successes uh, with the re-roll. Uh So you... Oh, no. Prowess does not apply to this. Okay, yeah. so you'll roll just strength plus brawl. She has a two dice penalty to what, or two success penalty to what she just rolled. So it would be a difficulty of five to avoid getting bitten by her. Oh, that's a lot. Damn. Oh, you just matched it. She uh, struggles against all three of you, and just like you see her teeth or her her lips kind of curl back and she goes to sink her teeth into whatever part of Alex that she can reach, probably like your arm, the top of your arm here, uh, and just is not able to do it. You're able to like adjust the way that you're holding her and hold her like neck back here. So she's not able to bite you with all three of you holding her down. It's now all three of you or all four of your turn to act. What would you like to do? Stick to the heart. Cool. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Uh, so <laughs> Dolores, sure. this is she's already uh, grappled. Yeah, um, they took care of it for me. Yes. So, oh shoot, where is this? Okay, there are rules. For a stick a through stick. the heart, and you're a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me see. Cold shot. Um. Da da da. Is vampire bitch? Stakes. Here we go. Okay. 
Oh um, strike them through the heart during combat. Uh, for combat staking, a hunter must make a called shot at a two, uh, negative two penalty and inflict five points or more of damage of either type, which this would be, uh, I believe this would be uh, like um, aggravated damage. Um, this damage can spend from range weapon. Okay, no, you're just doing it. Okay. So, Dolores, this would be a strength plus melee attack. Um, oh. And... Um, oh. Um, <laughs> oh, <laughs> gosh. Oh, um, I have oh, a two um, melee. Um, if need help, I don't know. If, if one of you... if someone should have talked about this first. If someone other than Dolores would like to do it, I'll say Claudia, Claudia is pinned right now. So if... But, 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 but. <laughs> oh. I mean, okay. you can try... Dolores can try to do it. Just the odds are not great that you'll I be able to. I have plus two dice. <laughs> yeah. I should probably save that for Antifa, bitch. Uh, it's up to you. If you would like to try to stake her, Dolores, you absolutely can. Um, it would be, like I said, it would be strength plus melee. Um, and you would have a negative two success penalty. I got a negative one. I'm, I'm fine. I got that. <laughs> my odds are looking good. Right? Oh my gosh. <laughs> no, well, I, but she is being held. Okay, hang on. I think because she's being grappled, I don't think you'll have to have a negative two penalty to successes. I don't think I'm strictly doing this as the book says, but I, I think that's fine. Um, so, uh, yeah, just you would do a strength plus a melee roll. You do have to manage to do five damage to her with one attack, uh, which is not super likely, but you are welcome to try. I have, I, I have one. I have one. Yeah, so I, I, I think, like, literally, Dolores, you know you would not be able to successfully put her into torpor with an attack like this. Um, you can try something else, definitely. Or you can, if you think, I think Dolores would just go for it, you can just go for it. Um, I feel like she would just go for it, but, I mean, let's see. Let's see if Lady <laughs> Luck is on my so, side tonight. So it's, uh, your dice pool is one? Is that what you said? <laughs> Oh my god! Mighty one. And your dice pool is at one, and you're you do, you do want to put your hunger in for this? Uh, <sighs> All right. Putting my faith in God for this one. I mean, what if I I can I can add like one dice roll? You can however many extra dice you have from you know from what people have, I have given two. you. I have two. You can add both of them if you'd like. Um, you don't have to. But I'm like them. wondering if I should save one for Prince Antiphonus. Up to you. Oh. I'll I can give myself a pool of. What do you guys think? Should I add both? Go big dick. Yeah, just just go big. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's see. This is gonna be. Is this gonna be my moment? Okay, wait. Um, pool three. I'm scared. With the pool of three. I think you can technically do this. Uh, okay. Don't forget to don't forget to put your hunger in because I don't want you to get okay. the successes you need. Okay. Okay. Here, 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 here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> I can't, I can't. Oh, oh no! I total failed! Oh boy. Um, so I complete and total <laughs> failure? A t no successes. Oh. Okay. Are you fucking kidding me? What does that mean? I stabbed myself? Uh, <laughs> Jesus. A total failure. A total failure I is not. I slip on a fucking banana like in an old cartoon. <laughs> A total oh, failure is uh, not as bad as a bestial failure, um, but sometimes dire consequences occur. Sometimes you cannot try the test My again. My called me. Um, so I think as you gr have this stake and try to drive it into her chest, it does not. It does nothing to her, and she spits in your face. And you <gasps> can tell as you're hitting this into her. She's like she's wearing a vest. She's wearing like a bulletproof vest. There's no way that you're just gonna be able to stake her through the heart uh, oh. by doing this, which is because you got a total failure that that's the case. Um, so, uh, oh, but Tisha did <laughs> give you uh, to uh, give you a plus one to a future role. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Yeah, thank you, Tisha. Uh, Tisha. Um, so the other three of you, Claudia is still struggling against you. So you can use uh, your turn to continue to try to hold her down. Dreamy. Can we or... take off her vest? Yeah, you could try to do that. 
Um, it would definitely be, like, a struggle to do that. Um, but, uh, like, the rest of you can kind of do something. If you want to keep trying to hold her back, uh... Can can I compel her? Am I able to compel her? You can try. Yeah, it's harder to do oh. to Kindred. Um, All right, quick, use your tits to distract her. <laughs> <laughs> oh okay, what would I roll for for that? For compel, it yeah. is. She definitely gives off, you know, possible gay vibes. So this might work. <laughs> this uh, just might work. Okay, with compel, you can issue a single action command, no longer than a short sentence, to be obeyed to the letter. It must be possible to complete the command in a single turn. Um, and you have to roll charisma plus dominate. She rolls against you with intelligence plus resolve. Um, uh, okay, so I have a... Uh, that would be a six pool. Okay, I mean, that's pretty good. Okay, yeah. I would... I am only allowed to use one word. Uh, n just a sentence, but it has to be something... Oh, yeah, tell her to take for her, her to do. Yeah, well, I, I think taking the vest off might be too much work for her, right? Potentially? Um, I think she could do that in a turn. I think she'd be able to take her vest okay. off. So if that's what you want to try to tell her to do, you can. What if I told her to to like stop struggling and go limp or something like that? Then we could easily take off the vest and stake her. That's true, and that would be something definitely within. True. Uh, I don't know. It, it, you would all have to act How long pretty does it last? fast. Yeah, it only lasts for like a moment, really. Um, but if I mean, if I'm not mistaken, Alex, if you took off her vest, would have the best bet at staking her. Because yeah. It is yeah. True. Strength, all right. <laughs> strength plus melee. Here you go. Here's the fucking stake. <laughs> so, we need a quick peel back. Yeah. Yeah. Back. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We're not. You know. <laughs> Um, okay, okay. Quick, so little... um, so you would be you would be rolling. Uh, what did I say? Charisma plus something. She's rolling intelligence plus mm -hmm. resolve. Uh, okay. Resolve. Oh my god! All right, er so er she's er rolling. Er 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 um, okay, and don't forget to put your hunger in. Okay, ooh, 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 ooh. hunger. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Do you want to spend? You don't have to, but do you want to spend a point of willpower to re-roll your one failure, or do you just want to leave it how it is? I'll leave it how it is. Okay. Uh, so she's gonna roll Bruh. to resist this. <laughs> Dude, I'm scared. Uh, and she got five successes. It again, evenly matched. Um, wow. so, uh, Bella, you order her to, what, what exactly, how does Bella do this in this moment? Uh, I look into her eyes and I just say, stop struggling, just stop <laughs> struggling against us. She, uh, this doesn't do damage or anything like that, but she elbows you right in your gut. <laughs> um, oh! as she's able to resist this, uh, mm -hmm. attack. Uh, Boots or, uh, or Alex, are either of you doing anything? Uh, would I need to re-roll anything to continue, continue holding her down? And No, you wouldn't need to re-roll anything. Um, if Alex continues to hold her down, you would still just be adding that dice to his pool. Okay. Um, okay. So if that's what you want to use your turn for, you definitely can. Well, so, someone needs I, to try to take her clothes off. <laughs> yeah, <it's someone. laughs> yeah. I'll, I can try to peel back her vest or something. Yeah, I mean. if you want to try to do that, uh, okay. I think that's going to be, I'll just set a static. That's going to be a three difficulty to do. Okay. Um, and I feel like this would be, I think this is strength plus, I mean, I don't see this being anything other than strength plus brawl, to be honest, because this is all kind of like, you know, hand-to-hand uh, -hand kind of stuff where you're just trying right. to pull this. All right, Alex is on get a bonus. Duty. Uh, do you get a bonus? Didn't we get a plus? Oh no, that was X XP, right? Uh oh, you yes, you you each got earlier. Tisha gave everyone a plus one to a dice pool. So if you would like to yeah, use that okay. now, you can. Yes, mm -hmm. absolutely. Um, uh, difficulty three. Difficulty said? three, yes, and do put your and hunger. My in. hunger. Oh. Dang. Do you want to spend a point of willpower to re-roll your one failure? 
Bruh. The other option that you have, which I don't think we've done this before. Mm-hmm. Um, but when you fail a roll, sometimes I can offer you, I think it's called a devil's bargain. Uh, oh, win at a cost. Oh. Uh, if, if you roll any successes but fail, I can offer a win at a cost. You achieve your goal, but something happens to make things worse for you anyway. Uh, so if you'd like to succeed at pulling aside her vest for Alex to try to stake her, um, but have something happen to you, uh, you can do that. Oh, shit. That's kind of uh, scary. I'll yeah. just do the willpower. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so go ahead Fair. and spend one point of willpower, and you can attempt to, or you can re-roll that single failure. Um, so I think if you just click uh, re-roll failure, um, or you can select dice to re-roll. <laughs> oh, no. Select dice to re-roll and then fail? <laughs> yeah, if you select yeah. di- dice to re-roll it and then just choose the one that has failed. <laughs> You don't want to re-roll the success. Hey! Oh. Yeah! All right. Yes, uh, boots oh coming through. Uh, so you uh, ba, 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 do, uh, basically mark yourself as having a point of superficial willpower damage because that's what you do to, to do the re-rolls. Um, but Boots, you are... Uh, actually, I'll turn it over to you. Uh, describe how you're able to pull this vest aside, making room for Alex to try to take a shot. I'm straddling her. And I pulled <laughs> pull the vest back just enough for someone this is to a stab. Professional. So who, who wants to take a hit? That's what I'm yelling. Who wants to take a hit? So you're like you kind of pivot. So you're like uh, like in front of her, and you're just like pulling, pulling back her vest and like leaning back. Yeah. Uh, very good. Um, Alex, do you do you want to try to stake her? Uh, yeah, okay. yes. It'd be very funny. This is the woman like... who branded you, by the way. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you gotta you yeah. gotta put some fucking power in that shit, dude. That's right, that's right. Yeah. Okay, so to stake her. Do it for Santiago, too! Um, so you would no, have I hate that to... Bitch. You would have to stop grappling her to be able to do this. So there would be a slight penalty to your role, because nobody's okay. grappling her anymore. Um, so it would be... Oh, why did the whole thing just move? Oh my gosh. What if Dolores uh, starts grappling her? Uh, Dolores already took an action. Uh, oh. So would not be able to also yeah. grapple. Um, it's strength plus... I'm off plus, duty. <laughs> it's <so>. strength <laughs> plus melee um, okay. to make the attempt. Um, and it is a two... It's not a two dice penalty. It's a two success penalty. So you would be, you know, having less... Uh, like, let's say you get five successes. You would actually only get three successes. Gotcha. Um, okay. And well, that's kind of scary. The difficulty technically is uh, five. Um, and you uh, don't forget to put your hunger in. Okay. I'm going to use both of my plus ones on this. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Okay. Uh oh. Okay, so right Can now I... you're not quite at it, but if you want to reroll, I think it's th- up to three. If by spending a point of willpower, you can do that, or if you want to make a bargain, you can do that as well. I'll uh, I'll 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 uh, I'll reroll three. Okay. I think you okay, are yeah, that's still six. Short. No, it's six now. Yes, six but successes. it's a two success penalty oh. to the roll oh. because because oh. she's not grappled anymore. So it's not a success. I'll still give you the offer. If you would like to successfully do this, something pretty bad will happen to Alex, but you will be able to stake her. Do it. Do it. Uh, yeah. Yeah, he's going to do it. Yeah, okay. he's, oh. he's going. he's going all in. Um, he he hates this woman. <laughs> yeah, she branded him. So Alex, um, oh, that's non-brand. Uh, how do I want to do this? Okay, I think describe how you stake her, instantly sending her into torpor would be the first thing, <laughs> wow. and then I'll describe the bad thing that happens to Alex. Okay, so Alex is like like at the start of this. Alex is still behind her holding both of her arms up. Um, He gets the stake, however it's given to him. Um, He uses his, holding her with his left arm, he pushes 
boots off of like no no he doesn't do that yet he's <laughs> Sorry, I'm like I'm getting I'm getting ahead of myself. He uses his left. He, break you, dance. he uses his left arm to push the stake into her chest, mm -hmm. pushes boots off of her with his right arm, and then kind of turns and throws her to the floor, mm -hmm. and yeah. then stomps on the fucking stake. Ooh. Oh my Whoa. god! Oh, okay, that's really good. Yeah. Um. In her last moments, as you are kind of tossing her before you manage to stomp her, she manages to grab one of these trapped shotguns, very quickly oh, no. cock it, oh. and turns its full blast on to just Alex, oh. uh, which is going to do three aggravated damage to, to Alex and you'll have to make a terror frenzy. Um, if okay. you're still up, I think you still are. <laughs> I think I you think have so. enough health that you're still I'm, alive. I'm still up, yeah. <laughs> it, and there's like, okay, there's no way that rapid reflexes could play into this at all. Uh, no, just because you made the deal that you wanted to succeed at this with a right. cost. So, okay. like, it, in other circumstances, yes, rapid reflexes would affect it, but because because you were able because to of how this played out yeah yeah um so you take uh the aggravated damage and go ahead and make uh a frenzy check so it's your willpower your current willpower so it should be down by one because you spent some um plus two um and you need to get two successes to keep from uh a terror frenzy okay so just just the just the, I don't have to add my hunger or anything. Uh, no, for uh, resisting frenzy, you don't have to add your hunger. Okay. Hey, no problem oh, yay. whatsoever. Um, you are left. Uh, you know, as the fire hits you again, this instinctual terror against this fire, which can kill you. Um, what? How how is Alex looking as you take this fire damage and get even more burned? Oh, I mean his his like his shirt is just kind of fucking destroyed on one side, um, and he's definitely got some some burn marks on his shoulder. Uh, he's not feeling hot, <laughs> uh, but he's uh, yeah yeah he's he's alive. Yeah, the that song starts mm -hmm. with I'm still standing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's playing as Alex is just kind of like <laughs> I'm still standing. I never need my song. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Um, you are uh the the danger here has been uh abated. Um, but Alex is pretty injured. Also, uh Santiago is still just be, like a, basically moments from entering torpor. <gasps> oh God! No, that bastard! He left me again. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Um, if Dolores would like to make, I believe you do have medicine. As yeah, I don't a know what that's gonna skill. do. Maybe I can like you know light up a doobie and see if that helps. I got that kind of medicine. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't think that's gonna do nothing. No, I don't. Okay, what do, what do I? I mean, if, do you, I, if you insist. She she works with herbs. Okay, she works with herbs. Yeah, but... that that could you know you know magic. No, no, I'm kidding. That I'm kidding. Still work. Um. Okay, so it would definitely be uh medicine. I think this is probably. Uh, I think this is wits plus medicine. Uh, is your check for this? Quits. Um, Yes, uh, the difficulty mm. is going to be four uh, oh. because he's pretty badly injured uh, and do add your hunger. Oh, gosh. So, okay. All right, so the pool is wits plus wits medicine. Wits plus medicine and uh, add, your, okay. add your hunger to it. Uh -oh. <laughs> can I re-roll? You can, we can help. You can re-roll that one. F so you can't re-roll hunger dice. You can spend willpower to re-roll the one uh, yeah. black die that failed. The only way you would succeed is if it's a crit. 
Uh, Are you serious? Yeah, which is a one in one in ten chance that it's a crit. Um, Fucking fuck. And I don't think I don't think there's a way that you can do this and have it turn back on you. So I think the only way you can try to succeed this is. I can't. Can I add the dice roll or anything? Uh oh yeah. If you want to add, just roll a single die. Uh, to spend the one that Tisha gave you, you could do that. Okay. Uh, so how you do just I do roll that? uh one. Just do V roll and just do one in your pool, but don't add your hunger or anything to it. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> okay. So what you could do if you would like. Um, is if you want to spend a point of willpower, you could re-roll those two failures because technically those would have all been part of the same roll. Mm-hmm. Um, but if you fail that, um, if you don't get either one crit or two successes on those two dice, then it's a failure and there's not really anything you can do about it. All right. Well, I feel like she would try yeah. regardless. So let's... Um, so just instead of doing a reroll failure, because it's going to be confusing because it's two different rolls, just go ahead and do a dice roll with a pool of two and don't put hunger or anything in it. And then I'll just do a reroll. Come on, Santiago! <laughs> okay! Oh! oh, wait, you got a crit it's on one of crit. them. Like, you got a crit. So you yes, pass. Yes, 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 yes. You pass. <laughs> it succeeds because you got a crit. Okay. Um, so Dolores, you as soon as like before really there's any registering of like Alex, how hurt he is or what has just happened with Claudia, uh, Dolores, you rush to Santiago's side. Um, and he's lying there like very, like you can even start to see the like withering of his like flesh and everything as he's starting to go into torpor. Um, Dolores, what are you doing to try to keep him from completely experiencing the final death? I, 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 I don't know. <laughs> How would one stop that? <laughs> I mean, you can, you can, if you want to make up something with like, oh, I pull out my point. You, you got a success. So whatever you describe is going to be successful. Um... You know, I don't know, man. Um, <laughs> you, can I get help? You, t- you tend. Uh, we could just say you. You tend. You're tending to his wounds in whatever way that you normally do. Uh, he's very mm-hmm. badly burned. That's like the main way that. Maybe I'll get some, are. like I don't know, some herbs or some that she has. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. you quickly pull some herbs old style <laughs> that you carry witchy with you. herbs. Um, I think it's a thing of like you like put some in his mouth, like kind of under his tongue, um, and you can see his. I, I, not really his. I guess his color start to return. I was going to say he's a kindred, so he's, he's, you know, most kindred are a little bit pale, but uh, yeah. <laughs> his color start to return a little bit. His eyes kind of, like, flutter open a little bit. And he says, Dolores? What, what, are, what are you doing here? And, like, starts to try to get up, because the last thing he remembered, he was, like, mid-fight with Claudia. Um, and tries to push himself up. Uh, but is still still very injured. Um, <laughs> well, she didn't, she doesn't, she's still pissed at him, but she's like, okay, it's like, don't worry about that. We have a job to do. Um, he says, don't tell me you're here for the thing with the prince. I am. I assume you are too. I, I was, I think I'll try to leave with my life and Dolores, I, I think you should leave as well. I, I. I'm not leaving. I can't stop you. Unlike you, I can't leave things undone. (laughs) Oh, oh my God. (laughs) He is very, uh, he he has that expression that it like hurts him that you said that, but also (laughs) like kind of nods like, well, you know, she's not wrong. (laughs) And so he kind of just like winces a little bit. Um, and looks around, sees that, like, everyone else that he came with either fled or was killed, um, and says, promise me that if it starts to seem like the prince will take your life, that, that you'll leave and preserve yourself. Uh... 
I, I think she just won't say anything. Fair. <laughs> and maybe yeah. just gives like a slight affirming nod. I don't know. And it's like, but we gotta, you know. He um he says, well, I I can't um I can't come along with you. I. All right, fine. Later, <laughs> pussy. <laughs> Uh, he says, she just <laughs> saved your life and you're going to abandon her? <laughs> he Again? so close to death. Uh, he, yeah. he says... He, uh, true. he would be much use anyway. Yeah, he would just die. <laughs> he would just come with you and die. He, he says, I... Well, we don't know that he would die. Well, the odds are good that he would. He, he says, I can't, um, I, I can't come with you. I, I know that I'm too injured. I would just be a liability. But I'll prop myself up here and I can shout out to you if, uh, if anyone else approaches if um, the prince does have some backup out in the desert, um, and if he calls for them, I'm sure they'll arrive. Okay. Fine. Fine. Uh, yeah, Santiago starts to kind of, like, prop himself up. It's very, like, Wesley in Princess Bride, like, when he's, like, so injured, kind oh of, my at God. the end of it. He just kind of, like, props himself up against, like, the wall. By the way... My headcanon is that he sounds like Antonio Bender. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say he is <laughs> he is Mexican, but I cannot do any kind of accent like that. No, it's and fine. I will not attempt. Uh, but yes, if someone <laughs> better like with accents, boots. yeah, if someone He's better with boots. accents than me, he would sound like Antonio Banderas. Um, so he kind of like props himself up against the wall and uh, gives like a little like kind of half smile to you, Dolores. Um, and Alex, there is a yeah. way that, um, you can heal from, you can definitely heal from superficial damage. Let me check and see if there's anything you can do about <laughs> aggravated damage. Um, healing. Aggravated. Okay. Technically, Kindred Mend each night by rousing the blood. Um, and... I'm going to say because this is a one shot and we're definitely not going to get to like a night time for you to try to do this. Um, go ahead. And if you would like to try to heal some of this aggravated damage to you, um, you can make three rouse checks to heal a point of aggravated damage. Okay. Okay. Good. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> Oh, flark. It's okay. He has only two hungers still, yeah. right? Yeah, your yeah. hunger's still good. I only, I only had one hunger, so now it's two. Now it's yeah, two. Yeah, so, so that's pretty good. That's pretty that's good. That's pretty good. Um, and I, I healed three. You, you just heal one aggravated damage for three checks. Aggravated damage is oh, pretty Yeah, okay. it's pretty tough. Okay. <laughs> you're, still, oh my God. you're still in rough shape, unfortunately. Um, yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. Yes. Well, oh, shit. you know what I'll say, actually? Uh, the other way... Oh, no. Hang on. That's aggravated willpower. Technically... Wait, could okay. I... Oh, like, yeah. Dolores, I got some medicinal... If you want to try to tend and to I wouldn't, you know, just, you, know, yeah. you know, I'm not just going to, you know, say, ah, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> You're um, fine. Here's what I'll say, I think. Instead of having you do a medicine roll to try to heal it, I'll say, Dolores, if you want to do three rounds checks check. in a roll... Yeah, if you want to do three rouse checks in a roll, uh, that will heal an additional point of aggravated damage. So you'll just do in the roller, just do slash V rouse three times. Um, and it'll succeed regardless. You just might get hungrier. Do I not put anything it. in there? You don't put anything in. It'll just roll it. But it has like a red thing. For V rouse? I think if you just hit... I think if you just hit it. Oh, I just do that separately, not like in the thing. Uh, I think if you just type slash V rouse and then hit enter, it should just roll a rouse check. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just do that three times, three yes. separate times? Three separate times, yeah. All right. Okay. Hunger unchanged for the first one. Hunger unchanged for the second one. Hunger Bitch, and Chase for the third one. You're Ooh, totally we came, fine. We ate. <laughs> yes. Unaffected. Okay. So Alex still in pretty rough shape, uh, I believe, because I think you still have three points of aggravated damage, which is not good. 
Uh, but you're able to use your Vitae to just kind of like uh, some of the burn injuries on your arm just kind of seal themselves up and have that like kind of, uh, you know, newly healed scar tissue kind of showing. Um, and Dolores is able to come over and tend to you as well, taking care of some more of those injuries. Um, and you all can continue further into this bunker uh okay. where the prince is um let me go down here um once you're inside the bunker now that you've like kind of come in through this entrance uh it's eerily quiet with only the hum of fans and like other mechanical equipment it's cool and dark in here. The walls are carved from the rock of the mountainside it's embedded in. The display of wealth here, unlike other places that the prince has, comes not from decorations or a lot of ornate uh, you know, qualities to it, but instead from this perfectly controlled climate in the middle of the desert. Um, and you are able to kind of, uh, you can tell that you're going deeper into the mountain and like downward as you are headed towards the prince. Um, is there anything that you are doing to be stealthy as you're doing this? Yeah. I'm walking on my tiptoes. We should like... <laughs> <laughs> Set him on fire! <laughs> oh, no. It oh, returns. No. <laughs> the fire returns. <laughs> I don't know. It'd just be so hmm. badass. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna be following. Um, yeah, but I'm going. I'm sneaky. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm we're, we're gonna try sneaky. Dreamy's footsteps. Um, okay, I think this is considered a teamwork role. So the role is going to definitely be. I think this would be composure plus. Uh, there's just stealth? stealth. Yeah, stealth. Composure plus stealth. Uh, whoever has the highest in that can make the roll since it's a group roll. Anyone with dots and stealth can add to the uh, dice pool. Um, Oof, nothing in stealth. I have nothing in stealth, too. I have little more composure. I have three in stealth. And how I much have one composure? composure, two stealth. Okay. Right. So I think... So one composure, two stealth would be five. Dolores, you have three in stealth. What's your composure? Two. Uh, so it's the either one. I don't of know you. why I said it like that. <laughs> either either Wait, one of you two. can roll. Uh, <laughs> Wait, I no. So it should be it should be Dolores, right? Because it would be five plus the one stealth from Dolores from Alex. Um, it, yeah. Yes, I think it would be five plus one regardless, right? Yeah, because like you both the have math. the same. The yeah. math, math, and the same math. <laughs> oh, okay. So whoever wants to can Wait. roll. Right? Am I no, adding wrong? I, I've got one composure, two stealth. Oh. Uh, okay. So it should. Uh, so it should definitely be Dolores. Uh, but I'll do it. I'll be this sneaky one. little bitch. So I think it's six, right, for Dolores, because yep. you have six. Yeah. Pool of six. And the difficulty. Hunger. Yeah. Add your hunger. The difficulty for this is five. Oh. Evil. Huh? huh? <laughs> Sorry. Eh? Huh? Okay. I believe. All right, guys. Send your send shit. your spirit energy. I'm doing it. I'm sending it. <laughs> yeah, you, you better have your fucking energy. hands raised up. <laughs> Goku spirit bomb, motherfucking style. Grace. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Do -do 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 -do. And it was a success. Hey, there you go. Let's okay. go. Yeah. Um, I <laughs> ate. I literally oh ate. Oh my god, thank you. Yeah. I ate that. <laughs> you're, so you're able to, even though it's deathly quiet in here and you could really hear a pin drop, um, Dolores, you are able to kind of coach everyone on like, okay, this is what we need to do. Mm -hmm. um, I think maybe even like doing something to people's like shoes so that it's not like you're not like clomping around um, down. I put gasoline the on them so they slip and slide. <laughs> Oh, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, we're just sliding. Yeah, good. Yeah, dude. that's good. Get y'all juice. <laughs> Come yes. get y'all juice. Come that's a good juice. idea. <laughs> oh, um, <laughs> and then I set oh. them on fire. And then I set them. <laughs> so you slide down the corridors all gasolined up. <laughs> no, no oh my problem, god. But... 
No, I'm. I know that that's not real. Okay, no. That's not real. It's <laughs> this fake. is a bit. This is a bit. Um. Okay. So you are able to make your way down this corridor. Um. Very successfully, stealth wise. Um. Mm-hmm. And you come to. Uh. You can see kind of like the flickering of candlelight um, and the <sighs> floor becomes up until now it's been very just like the rock face basically uh, becomes this carpeted floor um, and you can presume that the area that you are about to enter is where the prince is um, uh, what would you like to do uh, continue forward yeah we, we should like we should like forward. we should we should so we have to kill him, right? So we're back to our options, fire and steak. Yeah. I feel like the steak, I mean, Alex is kind of banged up. It's still the possible. The steak is but... hard, but the steak is like, he, he immediately goes into torpor. If we can, we can steak him in the chest versus the fire. We're going to have to do yeah. multiple things. Yeah, multiple yeah, yeah. Times. I have two strength and two melee. Ooh, points. okay. So I That's could, pretty good. I could help out. For what sure. what yes. can we do that causes like aggravated damage? Uh, I mean, or superficial damage. Like, what uh, is superficial damage? Oh, superficial damage, superficial damage um, is basically like any other types of weapons. So if you're able to successfully hit with like knives and kind of firearm, that kind of stuff does superficial damage to kindred. Fire being staked, that kind of stuff does aggravated damage. So we could like disorient him like i can use my shit to disorient him and then like yeah superficial damage also is rounded or is uh is halved for kindred so let's say you had a really successful firearms check against him uh and you had you know a difference of four successes versus whatever he but don't we have like fire firearms you do yeah we do so so alex alex can at least hit from afar if we don't want him getting close yeah. Um, so yeah. with superficial damage, let's say that you were able to get four successes in, in a contest, um, but it was not with fire. It was just with like a regular, you know, other kind of weapon. The prince would take two superficial damage because it's halved. Uh, superficial damage doesn't send a kindred into torpor. It just uh, weakens them. Um, so that's basically, those are what your options are. Um, so uh, you all are making your way further into where you're like kind of assuming the prince will be um and can see the kind of corridor that you're in opens up there's not a door or anything like that opens up into this room that unlike everything else is is like designed like you know the prince's chambers basically so it's got this Mm -hmm. red carpet this plush carpet um the walls are adorned with like artwork and fine things he has you know some furniture a very plush bed um it's just one room so it's not that like amazing but he's definitely like you know made it nice for himself the prince gun, <laughs> gasoline tip the candle and <laughs> set the whole thing yeah. on fire yeah. um you do also see kind of sitting, this candle is is at a desk, and you see the prince sitting uh, his back to you. He's tall and slim. Um, anyone who sees him up close is struck by a few things. His long, thick black hair, his gaunt face with almost translucent skin, and his gray, almost white eyes. Um, and as you enter, mm-hmm. even though you are stealthy, you know, it, it's kind of hard to not notice a group of four people walking into the room where you <laughs> are. Stop it. So, We're here to kill you. Yeah. Hey, so how y'all doing? You, uh, hey, how y'all doing? You, you enter in and he turns to face you all um, and doesn't seem frightened at all as you enter. It's okay. Bella's not frightened either. She's just smiling creepily at him. <laughs> <laughs> what? Good, good. <laughs> um, and I think everybody. Um, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh! I don't like the sound of this. I don't like it when it when she's saying everybody. <laughs> everybody, everybody is going to die right now. <laughs> yes. Um, is make me a i need to check out what this role is oh yes i know what this role is um composer plus resolve check 
Dude, it's not that good for me. Okay. Is there a difficulty? Uh, it is contested, so it'll be versus whatever he rolls. Is it hunger oh, one? Okay, so what is it? Uh, whatever your hunger is, yeah, you would add that to this. Uh, okay. It'd be composure plus resolve. Okay. And I have to check. We're all doing it? Rolls. Yes, we're yeah. all doing it. Okay. And I'll describe oh. what's happening once, like, all the rolls are done. Um... Oh, what's the pool again? So sorry. You're fine. Composure, Composure resolve. and resolve. And then difficulty. Okay. Uh, you don't have one yet. Oh, a hunger and then yeah, and just put hunger. your hunger. Yeah, yeah okay. just put I it. fucked up. That's not my hunger. Oops. No! Okay, here we go. Sorry. <laughs> I had to make no sound. Okay, hang on. Let me I, see I, what I don't know what's wrong rolling. with me today. Um, I'm jumping if off people the wall. want to spend willpower to re roll dice, you can. You can't re roll hunger dice. So you can't re roll any red dice. Um, so no difficulty? No difficulty. Okay. Um, all right, let me see. This is. Oh gosh, I'm scared. I I I should use my willpower, right? Um, can I bio super quick? Yeah, for sure. Okay. No epicness. Ooh, I'm debating whether I want to reroll my one failure or not. And da, da, da. I'm just scared because I remember when he. Yes. When he like did that thing on boots and there was he like had so many ro like dice. Mm hmm That was that was fucked up. Yeah, that was scary. Okay. That was pretty scary. Um I am... pay no mind fucking... to this. Um... I'm gonna use the willpower and reroll my <laughs> okay. skills. <laughs> okay, and let's see. This is this. Okay, I'll, I'll okay. use my willpower too. That's better, but... Um, also, if anybody has dice that they want to spend, <laughs> that they have... Whose hunger increased? You, well, I mean, it's the prince's. <laughs> I was going to say, you wouldn't know, but that's the only person Let's here. Let's just give him a nice meal, <laughs> a nice steak meal. Yeah. Aww. Okay, I, I got a success, so I have five successes. Okay. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and roll this to see how it is, how his roll is. Okay, let's see how fucked up, how many, how many he has. Oh, oh my yes, god. Oh, got three! Okay. Yes. What? Okay. I am gonna spend willpower to reroll I, I just got in a bat, a bat bath mat and a coffin bat mat. One, how two, fitting three, for today. Four, five, oh. six. Okay, he got six successes. Um, what? But I, he doesn't have a crit. It says he only has five successes. One, two, three, four. Oh, sorry. I misread the... I just saw the icon. You're right. He only has five. Good job, Dreamy. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. The, whenever I see the skull <laughs> because it's on the hunger, I just am like, there's an icon there. So it's a success because you don't get the skull on regular dice rolls. Uh, okay. So five successes. Um, did anyone get less than five? Everyone else got less than five. I got five. Um. Okay. So, the only person who is able to resist this is Bella. What? As he... Fuck. You all enter. He turns. Bella, you're just smiling at him. Um, it's because she's a fucking no <laughs> oh, humanity. Wait, Dol Dolores, if you wanted, you could re-roll your with willpower. Yes, if you, you want to spend that. a point of willpower to re-roll the one failure that you have. Uh, I actually don't uh, think it's... I already have oh, five willpower. I already oh, spent you could, willpower you earlier. You could re-roll two. I was looking at boots instead of Dolores. Okay. You could re-roll two and spend one willpower. Um, and if they both are successes, then you would succeed at this. Um, it's up Ooh, to you. Less you risky. It is kind of risky. Balls to the balls. I okay. mean, wall. Yeah. Wait, but balls to the balls. <laughs> balls. To, I think that's how it normally is. If I have four is. willpower, is that too? Is that super fucked? Uh, so willpower basically, if you get to zero willpower, uh, you're impaired. Um, and willpower, the other main thing it does is resisting frenzies. So if something were to happen where you were to have to resist a frenzy, you'd have fewer dice in your pool. Okay, so, let's do it. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hey! Did you did it! it. Yeah, you did it! I did it! Cool. <laughs> so, okay. uh, so Dolores and Bella are able to resist yeah. this. 
But what mm-hmm. happens is, uh, as as you all enter, the prince kind of slowly turns to face all of you, and his lip curls okay. first in disgust, and then further back to expose his fangs. His face is twisted into a predatory grimace. Mm-hmm. Alex, <laughs> you recognize this look. You've seen it many times in your time in his feeding pits. And he says... Flee while you still can, you dogs. And Boots... Actually, we're and... not dogs, we're vampires. <laughs> Boots and Alex, you feel yourself uh, reacting to this. Um, and you... This is not a critical win for him. Uh, you are unable to act other than in your own defense for a turn, unless you spend willpower... Uh, Okay. And the willpower would be for Boots, you'd have to spend two willpower. Uh, Alex, you would have to spend three because it's by the margin of failure. Um, so both of you, you don't have to run away. You, of course, can run away <laughs> if you would like to. Um, but you can only on your turn act in defense. Uh, you okay. can't make an attack against him or like try to do something because he is basically intimidated you um but bella and dolores you are still able to act as you normally would since you succeeded oh god okay i suppose i could utilize my fleetness now i mean yes it, yes just <laughs> to brace for attack pretty much yeah you can definitely use your fleetness <laughs> okay uh that yeah, is the I'll prince's turn though and he wasn't able I to thought you said your fleekness my fleek Wait. i'm so on fleek um, <laughs> my fleetness. I'm just fast, and I'm ready. I'm ready yeah. to get punched She's in zooming. the face. Um, Whoa! So that was his kind of opening, like move against uh, the rest of you. Um, okay. So, uh, what are people wanting to do? Oh shit! Okay. Uh, so only me and Bella can do something against him right now. Yes. 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 What can we do, Bella? We gotta work together, even though we're. I know we gotta work together. Our differences. <laughs> we will fight together and use the power of well, not friendship. Okay. Uh, honestly, you don't have I that. think I would like to throw the. Uh, I would like to open the squirt gun, <laughs> and throw oh, it. God. On the ground. Let's go! You're up yeah. with the candle idea! Let's go! <laughs> go nice. for it. Um, yeah. Okay. And so that the gas would spill so, out. Okay, 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 okay. And I wanna use I wanna use my dagger to throw it at the candle and tip it over. Uh very on the cool. gas. Yeah, if I mean I would also like to throw like one of my lighters, but the candle thing is good just in case it doesn't work. Mm-hmm. Oh wait, yeah, I mean do I have a lighter? We can both do that. Uh, yeah, you could both have a lighter. <laughs> mm-hmm. I would. I would. I want to set things on fire too. Uh-huh. Um, okay, so <laughs> no, you throw you your <laughs> mom. Can I help? Set things on fire? <laughs> Full of gasoline. I don't think this is a difficult check. You're not doing anything really. Yeah. Hard. Uh, the I main... mean, unless the lighter is like uh, twenty pounds or something. Um, and the two of you are are the two of you working together? Like, are so are you? throwing the gasoline and immediately setting it on fire is that the goal here uh yeah yeah okay cool so, uh, yeah. So I think... <laughs> Dreamy, your, your attitude is great i love it uh, no, i was just like i don't know what to say right now sorry i didn't know if it no, was no, like no. something where you're like setting something up to like threaten oh my camera's out of focus to like threaten him or something like that we could say something cool you could say something cool. <laughs> okay, what, what I will say something say? cool. Okay. I'll... Uh, <laughs> so I throw the gas, and I take out my lighter. Mm-hmm. You have to say a pun. <laughs> and I look at him, and I'm like, oh, God, I don't know anything cool to say. <laughs> Looks um, like you've been burned. I, <laughs> I oh, no. <laughs> uh... Looks like you're in a hot spot. Yeah. <laughs> that's pretty good. That's actually that's actually pretty good. Um uh, <laughs> It looks like you're in the hot seat now. Oh my god. <laughs> 
So, uh, okay. I think I think with both of you working together, mm-hmm. I don't. I guess this does need to be a roll because you're trying to immediately do damage to him. Uh, mm-hmm. So I'll say this is a contested roll. I think it makes the most sense here. Okay. Um, so you roll. Da, 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 da. You can do it as teamwork. What an idiot having candles around as a vampire. <laughs> I know. <laughs> that's it's, true. That's it's true. the vibe, you know? That's true. Um, all right. Hang on. Let me see. Uh, They're all okay. scented. <sighs> They're like lavender. <laughs> <laughs> He's like in a bathrobe and like doing his nails. Okay. I think this is probably... Oh, gosh. There's so many different roles this could be. He's so girly pop. Um... All right, let me look at the skills first. That might help me. Um, I don't think it's awareness. I don't think it's this. Um, I don't think it's that. I don't think it's this. Okay, I we're doing a lot of the same roles, but I think we're doing a lot of similar stuff, to be fair. So mm-hmm. I think this is dexterity plus... Mm, I think this could be either athletics. Oh, not me. Or uh, or firearms. I think are really the only two options because you're basically like throwing things and like trying to light things on fire. So it, it's, yeah, yeah. So of you course, can... it's gonna have to be you who does the role. I only have two dexterity and nothing, and literally the first column of skills. Yes. Okay. Wait. So. <laughs> So dexterity plus either, uh, what did I say? Uh, athletics. Athletics or firearms. Yeah. I don't have either of those either, but I do have dexterity. Okay. Nice. So I'll say you can get a plus one to this dice pool. It's not technically the rules, but since. Uh, well, I also have a plus one. Yeah. Since uh, since from uh, Bella helping you is what I was going to say. Uh, technically, she would have to have the same skill that you're using, but I'll say since she does have the same attribute, you can do it. So you'll roll your dexterity plus one from Bella helping you. Plus, if you have any, you know, extra. This is the, this is the big you. moment. I got to do it. Yeah. But do you so need just... any extra help or anything? Or like I have can athletics. I? I'm not sure. Uh, you wouldn't be able to this turn because you okay. are still frightened of him. Next, oh, next, that's right. next turn you would be able to if if something okay, happens. Hmm. Yeah. I gotcha. um, okay. So let me see what he's. So dexterity. Mm-hmm. I have three, mm-hmm. and then two, so five. Yeah. Cool five. And put your hunger in. Alrighty. Difficulty or no? Uh, no difficulty because he's all right. Basically rolling against us to not take damage. Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, okay. This ooh. is ah, messy critical. What does that mean? Oh, that is. If you succeed, that's good. Well, it's kind of good and kind of bad, to be honest. Um, okay. Let me see what he rolls. Six successes. Holy cow. Okay. Uh, so this is. He's rolling. Definitely that. Okay. So. I'm going to do some, like, fucking witch. Chanting. I don't bother. Just to freak him out a little bit. Uh, okay. You so know what? She would do that. She'd do some freaky witch this. chanting while doing this. Mm-hmm. Um, all right. First, I need to do this. Um, to see how that goes. Okay. Then he's going to roll slash. Well, he got a wumbly in his tummy. He's hungry. He's getting hungry. Okay. Not oh, good. Is. Um, okay, so this is the dice pool. Uh, I think this is the hunger now. Oh, no, it would be this because he do not do that yet. Uh, oh, wait. Yeah, I'm doing this right. Oof. Okay. Oh, wait, no, no, but, but he loses still. He loses. He, loses. So he only got five six. Yeah, he only has five successes. Whereas Dolores has yes. six. That's right. And yes. that's one, two, five, and two, he. G- six. The reason why I said oof is because he got a bestial failure. So this is pretty bad for him. Uh, okay. Um, Good. Messy critical. All right. Let me remind myself of what the options are for messy critical. Um, sorry, I keep having to look up the rules, guys. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. Uh, on a messy critical, the character succeeds as in a re regular critical, but like an animal would, not being capable of foresight or self-control. The beast scored the critical, perhaps not you. Um, I think you what? would. Ooh. Well, like, does that mean I throw the lighter, but like I growl? <laughs> <laughs> it, it usually, <laughs> it, usually mean? it usually means either you're subject to a compulsion, your hunger might go up, uh, things like that. So let me, I don't think your compulsion makes sense here. Um, so go ahead and increase your hunger by one. Uh, as what happens is, um, you two work together. Bella and Dolores work together mm -hmm. to be able to mm -hmm. start this blaze going in this enclosed room. Um, and immediately, uh, it's a little bit too close to the prince. Uh, he takes one aggravated damage from that uh, because that's the, that's the margin of mm -hmm. difference between the two things. Um, and you do see just a hint of fear in his eyes as you did catch him off guard. Um, and that fear, Dolores, feeds the beast inside you. Not only your desire for revenge, but your thirst for blood. And you know that if you were able to drink blood from the prince and consume him, you would be able to potentially take some of his power. And you hear this you know voice in the back of your mind I was ripped urging off. you. By Carmella, so I think it's only fair. Yeah. Carmella uh, ripped me off of my power, so, <laughs> so dibs. So your, your turn. I shout dibs on consuming him! <laughs> um, okay, let me go ahead and mark, keep track of this. His health uh, one, uh, ag, damage. Okay, so the good news for... Uh, for Alex and Boots is that he already used his turn to uh, to like do something. Oh, actually, hang on. I think actually his hunger went up. He is going to. Uh, so he's he's going to. He doesn't get extra advantages on this because technically he's not attacking you this turn. If that makes sense. Um, so he takes this, this burn damage to his arm, uh, as I think like even part of his like clothing kind of goes up in flame from this unexpected fire. Um, because you've spread gasoline here, the fire also doesn't immediately go out. Like you're all still in this room as well, but <laughs> has a lot of fire in it. Um, he is going to, I think, grab boots, um, oh, oh no. And pull her close to him. Um, oh, and wait. try to grapple you. Um, so this is going to be a contested roll. You do get to use Bro. fleetness. Okay. Uh, so that's good. It's going to be your, I believe it's your dexterity plus your athletics or brawl. You can choose. And it's going to be contested by his role. Okay. Um, da, 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 da. Uh, what's the difficulty? Uh, it's no difficulty because it's based on what he rolls and I'm still okay. trying to figure out what he's rolling here. Are you going to roll first? Um, I can roll first if you give me okay. a second to find what it is. Okay. Okay. Um... Roll and there we go. Um, I am going to use a willpower reroll for that for sure. <laughs> I am rolling so bad. Uh, okay, select reroll. This is awesome for us. <laughs> it is. It is going well for you. Uh, all right, let's reroll those. Uh, did it re oh yeah, it did re-roll it, and I got... Three. Three successes, yeah. Okay, so the difficulty is only three. To resist the spell. Oh wait, I forgot to put difficulty. 
No, no, you that's fine. You don't, oh, hunger right, is the right. only thing you really yeah. need to re-roll. Yeah. Difficulty just makes it easier. Uh, okay. So you do succeed, but just barely. So Boots, he oh grabs God. your wrist and pulls you close to him. And you can tell in that moment that he is going in for a bite. Uh, what is Boots doing as you successfully escape this grapple? I'm kneeing him right in the nut. <laughs> and I'm trying to get away. I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm <laughs> slipping. Yeah, you you knee him. I think um I don't think it hurts as much as it would like a regular like person. Right. Uh but it does I'm, catch him off guard just enough <laughs> that you're able right. to break away from his grip. Um all of you now have the chance Push to push him act. back. Yeah, you can you can work together if you'd like, Boots. That doesn't count as your turn to do that. Mm. Um okay. and this will start the second round of combat. Right. We just have to try to stake him. I think. I mean, we could try to shoot him with the incendiary, incendiary bullets, but mm -hmm. I don't know what you guys want to do. Well, he doesn't have a bulletproof vest on, does he? <laughs> it does not look like he does. He looks like he's just wearing kind of like, he's dressed in like classic vampire clothes. Yeah. He's got like a frilly Regal. shirt. He's got like a yeah. velvety kind of you know, uh, waistcoat kind of thing going on. Uh, yeah. It does not Difficulty look like... Difficulty for... Yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, um, you can all work together if you want to try to do more stuff. The fire's still going. If you want to do more stuff to, like, you know, trap him in here with this fire, you can try to do that. Uh, if you want yeah. to try to stake him, you can do that. If you want to, you know, whatever, whatever it is you want to do. If you all... I'll tell you this. If you all work together... It's definitely, he's as, even though there are four of you versus one of him, he has an old enough kindred that he has a lot of power at his disposal. Like you can tell when I'm rolling, he's rolling with like a pretty big dice pool. And honestly, the stuff that he's been rolling is not even stuff he's particularly good at. So, you know, all of you working together to try to do something on your turns is going to probably work a little bit better for you than okay. each person like doing one thing right yeah okay i mean if we were to you know set anything on fire like we cannot set fire to the exit because we need that shit <laughs> yeah so are, are we just gonna be using the incendiary rounds and um i don't know do we need a distraction or what are we thinking um I think we should. We just have to stake him. Let's let's just grapple and stake him because okay. if we stake him, he is in torpor immediately. Versus, we don't know True. how many ch times we have to aggravate aggravated damage him. Mm -hmm. So True. I think we just have to try to stake him because if we do it, he is he is in torpor immediately. And Runs then up. we can throw him in the fire. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, burn down the whole place. Well. It's in the basement, isn't it? Like a little bunker. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. So who... imagine walking away from a freaking fire. That'd be badass. <laughs> who wants to be the person? So the dilemma with staking him, essentially, which you've already run into with Claudia, is that only one of you is particularly good at the skills needed, both to grapple and the skills yeah. needed to stake. <laughs> Damn it, Alex. Yeah. <laughs> I think I think the three of us should grapple. Alex is going to stir. No, I think Alex has to grapple, but Boots can stake because Boots has two and two. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Boots would basically have to crit because he ha the prince has to take five damage from the stake uh, to be put into four. All stake. Her. Just like, just kidding. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just kidding. Um, this is not like me trying to dissuade you from doing anything. I just want to make okay. sure before you decide to do something, you know or, like, the information. Or we could we could try to set him like burn him some more and then do the staking. But I think maybe we should we could try the stake because at least he'd take a lot of damage from it, even if doing both might uh, make him a bit overwhelmed. Is there like any like? furniture like a chair on fire in the movie? Uh yeah. Like a I chair think, that's on fire. Yeah, I think probably he was sitting in a chair when uh Dolores and Bella like started the fire. So I think probably the chair he was sitting in is has caught. Which is on the other side of him. 
Yeah. They're not like close to us. Okay. Yeah, yeah not that. closer. But the fire is spreading, so <laughs> if you if you wait. Or uh you could, you know, also grab another chair, like, and and set it on fire if you'd like. What what is <laughs> what is Alex yeah, like what is it that you're thinking of doing? If you I, w- I wanted to grab like a chair that was on fire and fucking chuck it at him. And then <laughs> And then just bum rush him and try to tackle him. Uh, yeah, I, I think you can definitely do that. Um, so that would definitely be a roll uh, to try to do that. Um, I think it would be, let's say, strength plus brawl, I think, in this. Um, or is your brawl better or is your melee better? Wait, is that a separate thing? Oh, shit. Uh... uh. Yeah, strength or uh, brawl is one and melee. Oh is yeah, yeah, yeah. My brawl is much better. Okay, so it can be brawl. Um, so it'd be strength plus brawl. Um, and I'll say mm-hmm. add one to your dice pool by doing like the the chair thing. Um, okay. Which is pretty good because you already have a good dice pool for this. Um, and he will roll to try to evade this. Um, okay. So his role is this. Okay, this, damn, this is a lot. Uh, and then this is this. Holy. Oh. Buckaroni. Okay. Oh, he oh. failed. He failed. He, did, he failed. Dreamy, you are so fast. <laughs> like, it all it takes I know, he so long <laughs> to calculate. <laughs> Like, to even find where it says the successes versus the failures. And, like, you are lightning fast. Uh, he did She's fail. A, she yeah. is a team player. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So you, Alex, do this quick movement. Oh, hang on. I just realized the music got really loud on mine. Um, you do this quick uh, fling of this chair that's on fire, which distracts the prince for just long enough that you are able to just completely bum rush him and tackle hey! him to the ground. Um, and have him pinned to the ground, at least for this turn. Um, what are the other three of you doing? Mm. You, we can, can the three of us combine strength to stake him? Right? You can try yeah. to, yeah. So Okay, let's do that. Okay, let's do yeah. That. Cool. So, <laughs> the way that this will work, okay, let me go okay. back to the rules for staking. Hang on. Mm-hmm. I got two and two, and what do y'all got? I Mm. don't have anything, but I do have strength. I have two and strength. One strength. (laughs) Um, Helps. All right. If I mean, if you don't have anything to add, maybe you could help in grappling him, because he's already grappled. You could just run over and make sure he's like definitely grappled. Five points of damage. Yeah. Yeah. So I think if if you can't add anything to the roll, then you should just do that. So that way, it's like your 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 move is not wasted. Mm Hmm. Mm Hmm. Um, okay. Da, 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 da. Okay. Um, so whoever is taking the lead will roll strength plus melee. Uh to try to that will be boots. stake him. Cool. Yeah. Uh so boots, you'll roll strength plus melee. Do either of the other of you have dots in melee? No. Um, I don't have anything in melee, but I did upgrade my strength. Oh, that's true. Does Dolores have anything in strength? One. Okay. I think... Let's... Hmm. I'll say each of you can be helping with this to add a die to the pool. Um, okay. So, okay. Boots, your role is going to be your strength plus your melee plus um, uh, plus two dice. Um, okay. Do you put in your hunger... The difficulty is five, um, right. and you will take a, uh, I'm going to say, hmm, you won't take a dice penalty because the prince is being grappled. So, okay. Uh, so that'll be it. Oof. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh. Wait, can you re-roll? You can't, you can re-roll three of those dice if you spend a point of willpower. Do you have any okay. extra dice rolls? Uh, Did you use yours? Uh, I think you used the one from Tisha the stream. I think Boots used it earlier. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Mm. Um, but if you spend a point of willpower, you can reroll three dice. 
Can anyone have two to willpower? Them. You only have two willpower? I, I would have two Oh, you willpower. would have. I was like, how yeah. do you only have two? Oh, no, no, yeah. no. <laughs> how much did you start with? Did you use any? Uh, Shouldn't your willpower I, have been replenished? Would it have been? Before I, I, the session? I, I, I Before started, the session. I started off with five. Your um, willpower is your resolve plus your... Now I have three. Stamina. Okay, there you go. Because I was going to say, I should have replenished before yeah. we started. Um, yeah, if you want to spend one and are left with three, you can. If you want to let this ride as a failure, you can let it ride as a failure. Up to you. This is the big moment. Oh. This oh. could be our, like, what, chance. I'll, like, yeah, I'll, would, do, I'll do the willpower, I guess. You'd have okay. to crit on one of them. Ugh. Willpower is only for friends. Fuck! Okay. Dang. So, two more successes. All right, Dreamy, use your 12 goddamn <laughs> dice rolls. <laughs> Am I able to do anything right now? Not on this roll, because it's not you rolling it. Um, okay. But if you want to use them on future rolls of something that you're rolling, you can. Okay. Um, okay, so, Boots. Um, but does he take damage from this, <laughs> is the real question. He does take some damage from it. Um, so, nice. he's going to take... How many successes did you get? Three. So he did. He took three aggravated damage from this attempt. <gasps> um, and he, he got one from the fire earlier. He got one from the fire yes, earlier. Okay, that's he good. Did. That's good. Uh, <laughs> so, you know, he's definitely injured. Uh, okay. So, Boots, you are able to, um, in this scuffle between him and Alex, you are able to make your move at the right time. Um, assisted, how, how exactly are Dolores and Bella helping with this staging We're attempt? holding her hand. <laughs> we're helping, wait, what? Wait, how does- Cause, Cause you wait. both were helping, right? She, yeah. how does she, has one, okay, so Boots has three hands. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> um, one for the stake, two for each of our hands. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you're, just you're holding my fingers like your babies. <laughs> yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Some moral yeah. support yeah. <laughs> um, with this. Um, no, we could just, like, help keep him down, and I might, like, I don't know, just do something, wave my dagger in his face. I don't know. Um. Yes, so you... Go, you help, you're helping with Boots. Um, Boots, you are able to drive the stake into his flesh, but you miss his heart. It goes in deep, deep into his arm. It causes aggravated damage to him, um, but it does not, it doesn't completely knock him out. <laughs> um, Jamie, <laughs> someone's petting your head. <laughs> How the hell did that happen? <laughs> Oh, I don't know. That's so funny. Um, oh my god, did they- No, wait, did they go to your Twitch? Let me see. <laughs> Probably, that's what I was thinking. That's really funny. They How do I yeah. turn it off? Okay, there it goes. <laughs> Who did that? I don't know. I didn't look. Just affecting a completely different Ooh. channel. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, so Boots, you are able to do this damage. Um, that will bring it to our third and final round of combat for this fight with the prince. Um, oh, what is everyone oh, doing? Um, if you want to keep him pinned crying. down. Yes, we just have to have keep to him pinned something. down. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I guess. Um, I think the first thing he is going to act um, and is going to try to injure Alex because you are on oh! top of him. It uh, is the main thing that it would make sense for him to do. Um, so he is going to roll... Alex, you Yo, can hello. use um, to avoid this. It would be a dexterity plus athletics. Well, that's pretty good. Um, and he is the prince is going to use. I believe it's strength plus brawl for this. Um, yes, it is. Uh, okay. So, let me roll. I'll roll first. Uh, this and this. Please roll well, Prince. Please don't. <laughs> oh my no! god. No! 
He is, okay. he is burning through willpower. I, I still, he has a lot of willpower, so I am going to spend another point to oh boy. re-roll. What the heck? Or do oh like the God. same thing. It's the same, the same thing. thing. That's like the, that's like the third time wreck. that's happened to me. Okay, oh. so only you only need three successes uh, to avoid this. Mm-hmm. It's dexterity plus athletics. Uh, fingers crossed? I, be- I believe. Cross your yes, fingers. There you, you go. You got, you, it. Did you, got it. you got it. You got it. You got it. Four. Okay. Is so quick. For you the s- <laughs> <laughs> for the second time during this oh. adventure, Alex, you see a kindred about to take a bite out of you. And uh, this dude has taken a bite out of you before. Yes, and you know oh, that shit. if he were to be able to hit you with a bite, this would take you up. Like you would be in torpor, probably. Um, yeah, would, that'd be GG's yeah, real you, easy. You'd be you'd be gone. Um, but you are able to kind of roll out of the way uh, so that before you were on top of him holding him down, you kind of pivot so you're holding him to you. His back is to uh, the other three. Um, you all get the chance to act. Uh, Alex, if you want to keep holding him down, it is going to be another contested roll to keep him from getting out of your, uh, you know, control. I, I feel like I kind of don't really have a choice. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. Yeah. It's, I mean, uh, it's up to you. You could try to do what you did with uh, Claudia and try to break free and just stake him. Um, oh, I will say, actually, the fire has also spread. So if uh-huh. you aren't able to do something this round, you are going to have to get out of here. <laughs> um, okay, so... Oops, sorry, guys. I got a little carried away with the fire. <laughs> okay. So how much damage has he taken? He's taken four damage. He's taken four damage. Aggravated okay. Aggravated damage, which is bad. Yeah. Okay. Is there, like... um. Like how, like exactly how close and how large is the nearest like area of fire? Um, pretty close and pretty large, I would say. If this is Can a I, thing where you're like, you need to get out of here soon, it's it's life threateningly large. Yeah. Can I throw him into that? Yeah, for sure. Oh. Okay. Um, okay. So this is gonna be you'll roll. I think this is strength plus brawl again. Um, I don't see why it would be anything other than that. Um, and I'll you're definitely able to throw him. I'll roll for him. Uh, after you roll to see if he's able to avoid any of the like fire at all. Um, so mm-hmm. he'll be rolling. Um. Da, 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 da. I'll have him roll. Ooh, not that good for him. Dexterity. I think just dexterity. Yeah, not a good roll for him. Okay, uh, so you can nice. roll first to set the difficulty based on how much damage he'll take from this. So you'll roll your strength plus your brawl. Do put in your hunger. Um, and if you have any extra dice or anything like that you want to spend, you can apply that as well. I don't. And if I fail this, this could be fucking, this could be the end right here. Because I've only got like three hit points left. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yark. Oh. Oh shit. <laughs> you, you can use your willpower. That you can, saw can, willpower. Yeah. Can I? Yeah, yeah. Can I like? Yes. You roll three. three. Yeah, and spend mm-hmm. one okay. point of willpower. Please. <gasps> nice. Oh nice. 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 Oh, nice. Nice. Six successes. Okay. Six successes. That's so awesome. He's gonna roll. Um. Uh-oh. And. Six. 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 <laughs> oh no, never mind. Oh yeah, you did get six six six. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh oh, his wow. for this is pitifully small. Uh unfortunately. <laughs> this is not his Damn. strong suit. One success. Oh. First time he's heard that. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, like, Alex. Five damage then? He takes five damage because that's the difference between and it's aggravated damage because it is fire. Mm-hmm. You throw him into this fire. Um, and he immediately bursts into flames and begins to just turn to ash before your eyes. I should have sucked his blood. (laughs) Am am I, are we able to stop that from happening? Uh, you could do some, no, you could try to do something. It's like, so basically over the table, 
he just took enough damage to not like it would be torpor if mm-hmm. it was a different kind of damage but you, he's thrown into fire so like he's taken mm-hmm. enough av- aggravated damage that completely depletes his mm-hmm. health that he had left mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. um he only had four points of health left Okay, I would actually like to go and drag him out of the fire. <laughs> no. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> what? How, you take it. We gotta put out the fire. Um, uh, dreamy. It's... Okay. <laughs> to do this, to to uh-huh. you would have to like reach into the fire to do this. I do think this is going to be. You're going to have to resist a terror frenzy because this That's is fine. Like, the thing that you would be most afraid of. Okay. Um, is, yeah. Is there like any chance for like? A follow up <laughs> from Alex, uh, or was or was that it? Well, what are, what do you think? Let me let me know what you're thinking of doing. I'm thinking he wants to like make sure boss. that this that <laughs> yeah, he's gonna do a, he's gonna do a fucking Fortnite emote. No, he's gonna um, he's he doesn't really like the idea of somebody having that much power necessarily. Yeah. Uh, so kind of against everybody else's will he wants to make sure that nobody can have it (gasps) and he wants to unsling his shotgun that's kind of like around his back oh my god and and just go for the double tap like like, unload (laughs) unload into this man um (laughs) like make sure like he his body cannot be retrieved he's not Mm -hmm. he's if he can avoid it he wouldn't like to hurt anybody else yeah yeah he he doesn't he doesn't want this to go through yeah yeah Okay, so in that case, I think instead of it being a willpower check... Oh, and I cannot check... suck his blood. <laughs> instead of uh, it being uh, a willpower uh, check from Bella, I think what this is basically going to come down to is which of you can act more quickly to accomplish what you're trying to do. Because Bella uh, is trying to pull him okay. out uh, yeah. to do something. And Alex is trying to add more fire and completely take the prince out. So it's basically going to come down to whoever can try to act first. Um, so okay. both of you, you'll be rolling against each other. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. And, oh, and just making sure rapid reflexes doesn't play into this at all. Uh, no, rapid reflexes is if someone was shooting at you, you wouldn't take, um, Fuck. you wouldn't take a penalty if you didn't have cover is what rapid reflexes does. Um, Got it. so you'll both be rolling definitely dexterity because you're both trying to okay. do something quickly. Um, and I think this is kind of odd, but I actually think it's going to be dexterity plus awareness because you're kind of trying to do this. You're both trying to like act before the uh-huh. other person. So it's kind okay. of like being aware of what the other person is doing. So you'll roll mm-hmm. versus each other. Uh, dexterity plus awareness. Do add your hunger. Okay. To see uh, act more quickly. Alex, you go first. Oh, I was going to say ladies first, actually. No, no, because you're the one okay. trying to go against me. <sighs> what if I want to get up in there? Oh. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> can I still have willpower. You can spend a point of willpower to mm-hmm. reroll those two failures, but if it doesn't go well, it's going to go pretty badly. you got two mm-hmm. bestial failures. Two successes. Okay, so uh, Dreamy, you can roll your uh, Dexterity plus Awareness. Okay, so I have three of those, but I have 14 <laughs> dice. <laughs> wow. I'm sorry? Oh my fucking god. Wow. That I used to say it from the very oh. beginning. I would like wow. to use oh. five my god. of those. I would like to use only five of those. Okay. okay. Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. That'd be a pool of eight with yeah. a hunger of one. Yeah, go oh. for it. Oh, and I would like. Oh I, I, I would like to. Fuck? I will. I will re-roll my failures because I do have a lot of willpower. Yeah, just three. Uh, you can only do one. Re- oh God re-roll. damn it! Okay, so I did succeed. You did succeed by one. Yes. And it's a bestial failure for Alex, unfortunately, because if you fail with bestial failures. Uh, then it then it is a bestial failure. Okay. Oh my god. Uh. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I literally cannot believe you did that. Heal turn. Are you trying to steal the power for, for yourself? Is it my turn? Uh. Well, let me let me. I'm gonna resolve, contest you on that, bitch. Let me resolve the bestial failure for okay. Alex first. Um. Okay. Because that's gonna be like the most immediate thing. Um. So bestial failure. 
Um, either the character fails because their beast manifested inopportunely or excessively, or the character's failure angered their beast into manifesting in a, inopportunable, inopportunely or excessively. Um, and I think, oh, okay. He goes, oh. <laughs> she got that dog in him. Uh, okay. Oh my god. What are? I don't think. Okay. My first idea would be to act out a compulsion, but I don't know if you have compulsions as a thin blood. I don't think you do. Okay. Hang on. You have the bestial temper. Uh. You had a discipline. So I. Yeah. I don't think you have a compulsion that you can act out. So, um, I think, unfortunately, uh, oh, your no. hunger, your hunger is definitely going to go up by one. Um, and I think just that, I think your hunger goes up by one. Um, and I think also because it's a bestial failure, you are kind of, um, you're not going to be able to do anything like more to be able to stop Bella from doing what she's doing. Um, I think with the bestial failure. Just Pat again. <laughs> oh no. I, I think, uh, Alex, you in your like. The beast inside of you takes over for a moment as you shoot off this shotgun blast with an incendiary round and Bella is able to pull the prince out of the fire um, without Mm -hmm. your uh, round taking effect. Um, And the beast takes over for a moment. And when you come back into your body, your uh, shotgun has been cracked in half. Just the anger at not being able to do what you were attempting to do, you break your weapon, or your beast does. Um, So now, Dreamy, I do think you still need to make a roll to see if you go into a fear frenzy, because you are still reaching into a fire, which is... Okay. So that's going to be your current willpower, so whatever unspent willpower you have, Uh plus one. Uh, and you need to get three successes on this. Ooh, guys, I might be going into a frenzy. Nope. Yeah, I only got two. Oh, but I guess I could use another willpower, uh, right? You cannot use willpower oh. on willpower rolls. Because uh, that would affect, you know, you do spending it and then you do yeah. something you're rolling. Okay. Bella, you go to grab the prince. You're able to act Uh quickly before Alex Mm -hmm. is. And as your hands go into the fire to try in this one last second to accomplish Mm -hmm. your goal, your ultimate goal, the thing you've been trying to do this entire time, your social Uh climbing, your quest for power and all of this. As you're reaching into the fire, memories flash into your mind of your nightclub, the only thing in the world you cared about, going up into flames around you, and a terror fills your heart, and you are forced to flee, flee from this area, just as the memories of fire and the hurt and the pain flood through your mind, and you are not able to pull the prince out. Oh, so he's dead? Unless Ooh. Dolores is doing something, but he is, he, this is all happening in like no. split seconds. If she's going to siphon anyone's power, it should be Carmela's. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I don't know if we even have time for that, but yeah, it's my head cannon. <laughs> that's fair. That's, <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. You do. So yeah. Dreamy, I will put it to you to describe how Bella is feeling, what's happening as she is running out of this Let him die. Location. Let him die. Let him die. Yeah. Uh, I guess... Well, she's like, well, I guess I played my hand, so she's just gonna get in her car and leave. <laughs> what? What about us? <laughs> no, no, no. I should, I should leave them, right? Because they, maybe they don't know what I did, or like what why you mean? I did. We were right did. there. You guys saw me try to pull them out, but maybe you guys think there might be a different reason for it. I don't know. It depends. I'm maybe I'll. I'll no, stand- I'm pretty sure Dolores is like she that. She wanted the fucking power. <laughs> I I feel like. Dreamy might be the secret villain here. I don't know. I'm getting those I vibes. know, right? <laughs> I'm just Fucking going hell. to say, during our session zero, we had an extended conversation about, hey, like, would you be okay if, like, you know, somebody is, like, 
doing something that like works against you. <laughs> and, <laughs> and there was there was a reason. It wasn't directly working against you, but <laughs> I, I would call it a heel turn. Um, Dreamy, are is Bella leaving them? Like, are you taking the car and leaving them in the desert? Ooh, well, she doesn't know how they're going to react, right? <laughs> Right. So I feel like she could wait, and if they look like they're going to be angry when they're exiting, she will leave. Okay. Well. <laughs> <laughs> so so we see we're seeing Bella running like, out of this place in yeah. fear, getting into her car, like taking a second, and being like, "I guess I'll wait around." Um, yeah. The other three of you also will basically need to leave though, because this whole room is going up in flames. Mm -hmm. um, what are the other three of you doing? I guess. Bolting out. Yeah. I'm gonna hit the fucking legs. Yeah. Um, you all are running out, and as you're leaving, you are noticing like poof, poof, like kind of explosions happening behind you as like things are catching fire. Oh, wait, what about Santiago? Did he get out? Um, you get like to the like Santiago's like by the entrance still, so you would pass him on your way out. Oh, okay. Um, so yeah, yeah, I'm Bella, in the car. Bella runs past him. <laughs> um, he is still kind of propped up by the entrance. Mm -hmm. Um, and as he sees like the other three of you leaving, um, would definitely need assistance to get to you know the car or whatever. All right. I'll assist him, I guess. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, what? I I'll just turn over to you. This is a effectively going to be our last scene of the evening. Um, how does this resolve with, uh, with all of you standing in the, you know, it's like 2 a.m. probably in the desert, um, facing off against each other? BRB gonna go kill Carmilla and get her freaking <laughs> powers. BRB, bitch. <laughs> right back. Okay, if they look distressed, I will pick them up in the car because we parked a bit away, so I'll drive up to the door. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Uh, All right. I guess we um. How do we? How are we gonna prove that we did it? Oh, uh, with the camera. <laughs> take a picture. <laughs> I'll take a picture. <laughs> I'm, in, I'm, I'm in the car, so I'll take a picture of the place on fire. <laughs> yeah, right. Bella takes a picture of the place on fire. <laughs> Yeah. Um, <laughs> Post it on her memories. Instagram story. <laughs> yeah. Um, is there anything? Hashtag just girly things. <laughs> yeah. Hashtag yeah. just girly things. Just venture things. Um, is there, are, are you talking to each other at all as you are driving away from the scene? I'm not going to say anything. I think Boot says, <laughs> you know, we all smell so fucking horrible. <laughs> oh, well, you know. Considering hunting a vampire will do that to you. In the I'm I'm looking in the rearview mirror as we're driving away. Uh, first of all, we can't even go in the direction we came from because we started a brush fire. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh so yeah. I have to like so I have to go forward from that. Mm -hmm. And looking in the rearview mirror, you just see two. We we don't know. We she don't could know. still be a. She, she could still, still be out, out there. Fuck. Yeah, we see two, uh, she sees in her rearview mirror two, like, um, streams of smoke from, obviously, the two different areas that we set on fire. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Just navigating all the fires you've left. Yeah. Yeah. Smokey Bear is talking about us. We were the problem all along. I feel That's like this true. is this is a very like this is almost the same vibe as like the ending of Heather's <laughs> when when oh, yeah. Veronica yeah. like comes yeah. out of the school. <laughs> like you're all kind of like you know a little singed, a little worse for the wear. Um, I feel like I'm I'm the survivor like at the end of Texas Chainsaw Massacre. <laughs> yeah, just, like manic yeah. in the back, covered in blood. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Um, but you have succeeded in your goal of taking out Prince Antiphonus, um, whether that be for reasons of revenge, for the chance at a boon. Um, all of you are... Um, we all have a boon now. You all have a boon now. You're all, um, you're all anarchs, uh, but you do have a feeling that if any of you would like... Uh, with having taken out this prince who the blood hunt was called upon, you're, you would be able to probably, probably except for Alex, but maybe join the Camarilla if you so choose. And um, I think I'll, 
ask each of you, what do you think is going through your minds as you are driving away from uh, the prince's final resting place? Should have fucking killed Carmela. <laughs> <laughs> So she's regretting that. Uh, Belle is just like, well, that sucks. <laughs> but then doesn't really feel one way or another about it because she has low humanity anyway. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm, true. Alex uh, just wants to drink. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. I think Boots wants to sit in a dark room for a couple of days and decompress. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Valid. Very valid. Um, yeah, and I think we see kind of these reactions from each of you looking tired. Oh, yeah, and Santiago's just there. So, yeah, Santiago, I think, is passed out. <laughs> it's just kind of like He's in like, the back. <laughs> yeah, sleeping it off. Um, these reactions from each of you, some of you looking tired, uh, some of you looking dissatisfied, and some of you just looking completely blank empty inside as you are you talking about me <laughs> i'm talking yeah, about you I so. <laughs> yeah i'm sorry guys i have such low humanity i like don't even feel things anymore and well, you drive into the desert seeking out um shelter before the sunrise and that's where we're gonna end this series We did it! You did Damn. it! Da, 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 da. We killed Antiphonus. He yeah, was we a did. Yeah. We yeah. did it. Uh, there are some what close was calls. your favorite part? <laughs> yeah, everyone go around and say your favorite part. Um, so uh, we are going to go around and each person let us let people in chat know where they can find you, what else you have going on, any other projects that you're working on, things like that. Ahem. <clears throat> And this time we're going to start with Wave. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm Wave. Uh, I sometimes stream, not really currently, but maybe again soon in the future? Question mark? Trademark? <laughs> Copyright? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For sure, one of those things. Uh, <laughs> uh, Dreamy, what about you? Uh, you can, I'm Dreamy, you can find me at Dreamyitude on Twitch and Twitter. Uh, I'll go ahead and reveal what my plan was, because it didn't work. <laughs> yeah, you should. But from oh the very God. beginning, my goal was to, uh, take the power of the prince and become the next prince. Oh my, oh my god, god. Yeah. you yeah. would. Is that why you were saving it? Yeah, I thought I was saving some points because and you in almost order... got away with it too. Well, no, in order... I, I, didn't, I didn't use all my rolls because in order to do that, you have to like, I, I read the thing for it. You have to, your resolve and like strength is against his resolve and strength. And you have to do that like multiple times. It's like multiple checks. Yeah, actually, oh I'll... And then, god. I'll and really... then even if you do drink his blood, mm -hmm. his soul has like the ability to take over you. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so wow. it's like really risky. Yeah, so I'll, Diablery takes an entire scene. Uh, the Diablerist needs to win a number of strength plus resolve tests, uh, each difficulty three, equal to the victim's Bro. blood potency with the prince. I think it's like four or five, um, something like that. Um, if even one of these rolls fails the diablerie is thwarted. You drink the prince's blood, but you don't consume the powers. Uh, either way, the victim swiftly decays in final death. Uh, and the diablerist loses one point of humanity. Then, if all of those rolls are successful, they have to roll a contest of humanity plus their own blood potency, which I think your blood potency is all either one or two. So for Bella, oh, kind oh, of wow. tough, because you only have five humanity, um, versus the victim's resolve plus blood potency... Every success rolled gives the person five experience points, uh, but they if they fail, they lose an additional point of humanity. If their humanity goes down to zero through trying to do this, their praise mind replaces their mind, and they become the host body of the, the blood and personality of their target, becoming mm -hmm. an NPC. Uh, so, yeah, pretty hefty stakes. <laughs> Uncertain if Bella would have been yep. able to pull it off, but uh, but it would have been fun go. to die that way. It would have been fun if, to die that know? way. Yeah. yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but that dang fire. 
Just, uh... If it wasn't for that damn fire, <laughs> would have gotten away with it, too. Yes. Uh, but you know what? She's still alive. She can still scheme, okay, guys? Yeah, there's other princes. Yeah. There's she princes do be places. scheming. Princes yeah. in other places. <laughs> That's true. Sounds like a title or yeah. something. Uh, Dreamy, did you say uh, anything other than your secret plan? Did you say, uh... No, I said you can find me on Twitch and okay. Twitter. Yeah. Oh. Uh, I'll throw it over then to Faye. Uh, what else do you have going on? Where can people find you? What's up? My name's Faye. Um, I'm a VTuber. And, uh, I will be streaming tomorrow on twitch.tv slash Runa. And oh, yeah. uh, mm -hmm. if you're not already following Faye, that link is in chat right now. So then you, you will die in a video game. Said. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, you're, you're, <laughs> you're running people on my <laughs> channel. <laughs> I get banned because you said people die yeah. if they don't follow you. Uh, <laughs> in video games, that's fine. It's fine. In, yeah, in Minecraft. Um, in Minecraft. In Minecraft. And then last but certainly not least, uh, Koya, what else do you have going on? Where can people find you? Hi, uh, my name is Koya. You can find me at Koya Rain on Twitter, Bandcamp, Spotify, iTunes, and Apple Music. I'm making more music currently. Haven't streamed lately, but uh, working on videos and whatnot. So yeah, keep up with me there. Yeah, and or else, <laughs> or else, right. another threat. Uh, also, <laughs> uh, Koya's <laughs> Twitter and most recent album on Bandcamp are both linked in the chat, so you should definitely check those both out. Mm -hmm. Are you? Um, as yeah. for me, my name is Taylor. Um, I stream on this channel. Uh, usually Tuesdays and Thursdays, I've been playing the Witcher games all in order, so I'm still on the first one, uh, which has Ooh. been <laughs> an interesting Ooh, experience. That's very cool. Um, I also stream other tabletop games like this. The most re the most recent, the most immediate one is not this week, but next week. I'm going to be playing a game called Tombs. Uh, which stands for Toot on My Balls Skeleton. It's a two-player <laughs> game where you and the other player uh, roleplay as two skeletons who want to have sex but really can't remember how. <laughs> That's wow. pretty funny. That is the funniest fucking thing I've ever heard of in my so, entire life. So good. I'm going to be playing that next Tuesday. Not this coming Tuesday, but next Tuesday, the 25th, uh, in the evening. So you should definitely check that out. Also, well, you better put in a, you know, obligatory boner joke. I, I'm sure. I think I already did on Twitter. So. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> Skeleton boners. Um, also, I have a subscriber goal on YouTube, actually, right now. Uh, so if you want to follow me on YouTube... Uh, let me see. Socials. I'm 17 away from my YouTube subscriber goal, uh, which I'm hoping to hit by the end of summer. So you can do that uh, and see lots Ooh. of other one shots like this. And in fact, I think f f four or five other Vampire the Masquerade games that we've done. I can't remember. Oh, shit. Uh, those are all up on YouTube. So, you know, if you're watching this and you want to see what all the commotion has been pre previous to this, you can check those out there. I think they're all in one playlist for your easy perusal. Uh, but apart from that, that's all I have to say this evening. Um, do you all want to say goodbye to the YouTube the YouTube chat? Goodbye to the Twitch chat and the, oh, YouTube, the YouTube VOD. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, YouTube. Goodbye. 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 Goodb